Jonas? You know. Jonas, where did you... Is... Leave... Possible. Hello? Is anyone in here? All right. Well, no then. Uh, is anyone up there? Is this? Where am I? Bury me. Where you can't see water. Yeah, I can hear you all right. Um, over. Awesome. Leslie probably told you, we're an environmental group. Local governments will contract us to study the effects of deforestation or noise pollution. But my specific area of expertise is in strange or otherwise unique natural phenomena. Electrogravity, ion winds, you know, stuff like that. Now, over the last few months, kamina has been overrun with disruptions in the electromagnetic spectrum. These frequencies act like radio waves, but as far as we know, aren't. And they're messing with the town's comm equipment, TV stations, even air traffic signals. The transmitters you'll play- Hey, I thought they closed down the seafood place out here. Oh, uh, Seafood Sammy's. Yeah, that's- I think it's under health code probation or something. So anyways, the group I work for seeks out explanations for certain natural phenomena. Do- sorry, but if I finish up early, can I cash in my lunch for a boat ride? I'm standing at the kiosk. The, uh, the Edwards Island one? I've never done the tour, but always wanted to. Anyways, Riley, where was I? Oh yeah, the equipment. Your transmitters and climbing gear, for the rocky terrain, are being held with the very polite manager of the general store. Should be right in the center of the harbor. Go get them and then call me back, okay? Oh, and before I forget, uh, you have a walkie-talkie. You'll be using it to keep in contact with me and anyone else you need to chat with. Uh, do you need me to go over the basics of how to use it? Like how to use it, generally? 
I, I could actually use a refresher if you don't mind. Not a problem, not a problem. So go ahead and look at your walkie. There are a lot of channels, as you can see. I'll always be on channel seven. So if you ever want to chat, just click over to that and say hi. But uh, let's, let's hop over to channel five so you can see it working. Hey, Evelyn, I'm here. Be there? Perfect. I'm your night watch, so I'll be on all night unless I'm using the bathroom or <laughs> taking a bug outside or something. All right, let, let, let's switch back to seven so we're not crowding anyone else who could be using this channel. See you on seven. Hey, Evelyn, I'm back on seven. Over. Great. Hey, hi. So, uh, everything about the walkie-talkie makes sense? Makes total sense. You're a good teacher. Uh, over. Oh, thanks. I try to be. Well, nice to meet you, Riley, even if not in person yet. Let me know when you got your gear, okay? General store. Okay, over and out. Doesn't look like anyone's here. Uh, I should probably call Evelyn and let her know. Hey, Evelyn. Is there like another general store nearby? Because there's nobody here, so I don't know what to do. Over? Ah, oh, crud. Okay. He must have closed early. This isn't a deal breaker, though. Just head up the hill on your way to Camber Cape. Your partner, Jacob Summers, is having some car trouble, but he's got a transmitter you both can use for tonight. Over. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but partner? Closed. Back Wednesday. Are you kidding? Okay, Riley, pull out your map and I can explain how to use it. So, as you can see, there's a lot of land to cover and a lot of it is inaccessible unless you have climbing gear. All those rocks and cliffs and crap are too dangerous without rope and anchors. But Jacob's still at Copper Creek Trail, northwest of where you're at right now. Take the road and you'll get there pretty quick. Also, by the way, your map has a lot of useful information. Don't be afraid to whip it out if you ever get lost or forget what you're doing. Okay, I'll call you later when you're with Jacob. Thanks, Riley. Over and out. Some of these postings are pretty old. God, 20 bucks an hour for a babysitter? If she doesn't fly through the chimney with a school of singing penguins, that's a total ripoff. Missing. Lucy Pasterson, age seven, born 1979? No, this, this has been up for a while. <sighs> Hope you ran away to California, kid. Hey, uh, so sorry, but are you Jacob? Jacob Summers? Oh, hey, yeah, I I'm Jacob. Which makes you, uh, Riley? Evelyn let me know you were on the way. 
uh, you, you, you kind of caught me in the middle of... <laughs> this is embarrassing. I can't get my truck to start. Yeah, this uh, was going to be our ride around town for the job, but she might be on her last legs. Oh, God, don't be embarrassed. It's not your fault, right? Or maybe it is. You know it takes gasoline in the little hole over there, right? Oh, that's what that meter with all the slashes means. Seriously, though, I have no idea. C can we can we try something real quick? The key's in the ignition. Could you just start up the engine real quick? I'm trying to see if it's the, uh... Um, sure, what the hell. Oh, thanks. It's just, I don't know what the issue is. Oh, crap. Oh, okay, uh, tur turn it off. Back. Well, thanks. I won't even try to explain what happened. Oof, sorry, dude, that sucks. Ah, it's all right. She gave me eight crappy years, which was more than I expected. Anyway, you help me out. I think we can call time of death on this one. Riley and Jacob, did you guys meet up yet? Uh, this is Evelyn. Over. Hey, Evelyn. Yeah, you got Riley and Jacob here. Over. Okay, great. Hi, Jake. Jake's great. He's a handyman regularly, but we were lucky to get his help with this. Your truck ready? You guys good to go? Uh, Jacob. Sorry. Uh, not yet, Evelyn. Jacob's truck was struck down by a mysterious illness. I think the engine's fried. Is our first transmitter point far? Over. Uh, kinda. It's Camber Cape. We want to try and get as much over-air traffic as we can. I see now why you asked if I had an all-terrain vehicle. We're going to Camber Cape? That's... it's not far. It's... it's a hike. Yeah. You two are going to be planting transmitters all around Kamina. Jacob, you have transmitters, right? Uh, just one. Hey, Riley, I'm strapped for space, so, uh, could you grab the transmitter? Oh, uh, okay. This thing? I think I have the space. I promise I won't think of you as our pack mule. Then why even say that? Hmm, huh. neat. One tonight, and a few more tomorrow when the general store opens. Okay, guys, I feel good about this. Really. Jacob, Riley, have any questions? Before I finally get some dinner? I'm sorry, but I just want to be sure I caught everything. It's okay. It's, it's a bit specialized. You and Jacob are going to put transmitters, these big metal poles, into a few areas around Kamina. These will gather electromagnetic data and send them to our lab for study. We're doing this because some radio signals are disrupting the town's equipment, and no one can figure out why yet. All right, guys. Good luck. Let me know if you run into any trouble or have any future questions. I'll be on most of the night. Thanks, Evelyn. Talk to you later. All right, Evelyn. Uh, thanks. Uh, bye. Oh, uh, Riley, real quick before we go. You see that radio on my truck? Uh, can you grab it? Sorry, but I, I kind of got my pockets full. Uh, yeah, sure thing. Oh, thanks. It tried out. This far from town, we won't get the whole range, but I think we can get the uh, local baseball game. Tune it to 93.7. Yeah, it, it should be on. This is David Rat. Bottom of the now 10th for the Kamina Crayfish. Still all tied up. I used to watch Crayfish games with my older brother like 20 years ago. But uh, thanks. It, it sounds great. Okay, by foot, Camber Cape is up this way. Shouldn't take too long. So, uh, Evelyn, she's, she's a little funny, right? She ran me through the job a week ago, and she's definitely a character. Eh, I don't know. Maybe it's because I grew up around them. But that particular breed of small town, something... I'm a little nostalgic for it. <laughs> yeah. N not that it's a bad thing. Hey, uh, this is a really stupid time to bring this up, but but when I heard your name, Riley, I... Well, do, do you remember junior year? This is Osmore's English class and uh, EE fifth period. We, we went to high school together. I dated your friend, uh, 
Uh, Patty. Peanut Butter Patty. We ran in different circles, but... I just wanted you to know that I knew we knew each other. That's all. No biggie. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. G good to see you. Yeah, you too. Wapiti Trail, day hiking and biking only, sunrise to sunset. Wapiti means deer. Just in case you didn't know. Actually, it means elk. Elk are mountainous, deer are grasslands. And Wapiti is an Americanization of a Cree word for elk. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Slow up. Be careful around those logs. Sometimes it rains and stays slick overnight. Just take one step at a time. What's this? Oh, that? We have some off-color people living this far out from proper civilization. There's a group in town that performs, uh, nature rituals. You'll see evidence of it dotted around. This could be them. Whew, uh, this part's always a little tricky. Uh. Oh, wait, wait up a minute. There's a bench over here. Can we just take a quick second? I just need to rest my feet. Eh, sound like a maybe, but... Uh, yeah, that's fine. We can take a minute. <laughs> I could use the break, too. Oh, thanks. Just till my toes stop throbbing. <laughs> Turned out to be a really nice night. dad and I walked these woods before. I was five or six, and we were coming up to the entrance to the, uh, the park, and I saw something off in the woods, something that I just remember it made me slip and fall a little, and my dad, he, he pulled me back so I wouldn't go off the ledge. He hurt my shoulder, and I had to go to the hospital. I've actually, <laughs> I've actually always hated these woods. I didn't even remember that I hated them until now. Yeah, these woods will kill you if you let them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you trip, you fall, you get a tick in your boot, a rattlesnake in your hat. The existential dangers start to add up. Yeah, that and other stuff. All right, thanks for the stop. Let me catch my breath. Close. 
Just over the crest, there should be a clear enough spot for the transmitter. Hours, sunrise to sunset. Used to be open to like 10, but someone spotted a bobcat a couple years back. Limited the hours. Closed. Locked. And locked. Damn it. The hell do I do? Huh. I don't know another way around. Maybe we should call Evelyn. Tell her we're at a bit of an impasse. Visiting Walla Walla. Hey, uh, Evelyn, this thing is closed. Or locked. The way to the summit. Closes at sunset. Okay, uh, that's not ideal. See if you can, um... Uh, I don't know. Stupid small town crap. I'll bet the bars close at like 2.30 in the afternoon. We gotta get that thing placed up top, so... Uh, get creative. Over and out. Looks like the lock's on the other side. Hmm. Huh. I'd say let me boost you over, but that barbed wire says otherwise. I'd rather avoid tetanus, so no climbing this one. Don't forget about MRSA. Uh, what the hell is MRSA? Oh, it's just, just another uh, infection. Another kind of infection. Sorry this turned into a bit of a headache. I totally forgot that they locked parts of the park up after hours. This or nothing. Oh, well, that works too. It is a, uh, a proper climb, though. Coming with? Mountaineering isn't exactly on my CV, so, uh, knock yourself out there, champ. Uh, f figuratively. Come open up the gate after your topside. Evelyn, yeah, I'm at the summit. Over. Oh, perfect. So, when you plant the transmitter, you'll need to adjust it manually a little. Just fiddle with the dish so it aligns with the signal. You'll know when it happens. Sounds good? Over. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Got it. Great. Call me back if you get confused or anything. Over and out. It's a little weather-worn, but this is nice. I should probably get Jacob back at the gate so I know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, hey, little animal burrow. That's cute, I guess. Oh, hey, you made it. Good job. You doubted me? Not for a moment. Well, you grew up here, right? You ever buy that story about Edwards Island? About the, the submarine that went down near Fort Milner? The USS Canaloa? Uh, which story? The USS Canaloa was the only American submarine down in enemy combat in American waters. It happened right off the coast of Edwards Island. 1943, during World War II. But, uh, you know, some people don't fully buy it. Uh, don't buy what? What do you mean? They think it's a lie? Well, 
Some people say it was friendly fire, that we accidentally bombed our own sub. Uh, why would anyone think that? Oh, I don't know. Little discrepancies, little things, details of the story not fitting exactly right. Sometimes things just aren't what they seem, you know? Uh, but, uh, you know, if you're willing to bend your brain a bit, there's always the other, other story. Oh, whoa. See that? Over Edwards Island. Oh, that storm cloud looks nuts. Oh, wow. It looks pretty, whatever it is. Yeah, pretty. Okay, so, the transmitter needs to be adjusted manually. Just move the, the thingy until the what's it connects to a source frequency. Yeah, it's working great. I uh, think. So what's uh, what's next? This was our only transmitter for the night. Back it in. Let's uh, l l let's actually call Evelyn real quick. Make sure they're getting the feed. Hey, uh, Evelyn, we did it. We planted the transmitter. Looks good on our end. Over. Hey, Riley. Yeah, the readings just coming in now. There they are. The signal's clear. You guys did a great job. Oh, uh, hold up one second. Okay, this is a little weird. Uh, guys, tell me what color is the little light blinking? Cause, no, I know. Just let me find out first. Uh, Jesus! Wait, what is that? Do you see that? Over Edwards Island? Riley, do you know, is this, is this right? Riley, what's going on? The readings are a little weird over here. Uh, Riley, is this normal? I don't- Riley, turn off the transmitter. It's, just turn it off. What? It. Is it lightning? What? Wait. There, there's someone here. What the Who hell is, is she? She did something. She, whatever she did, fried our antenna. Mom, come on. You tell me all the time. Don't let the concerns of others concern you. Right? What? What? to repair it, re rebuild it, or er, no, somehow or... Well, ruined. Ruined. Oh, it's her again! She keeps trying to... Again? Did I just... Uh, okay. Again it is. wasn't here before, right? Right.
damn it, come on. What do I need? Just to keep it together, right? I think I fixed the, the loop, I guess. Oh, man, I don't know what the hell is going on. Maybe, maybe Jacob does, or I don't know. I should find him, regardless. Maybe he's back at his truck. This is going to be okay. The forest is the town of trees, where they live quite at ease, with their neighbors at their side, just as we in cities wide. Hello? Is somebody in that truck? Ah, ah Christ! Hey, Jesus! Good Lord, that... I'm sorry, you scared me. Whew. Gotta give my heart a second. You scared me, are you kidding? Oh, God. Sorry. Oh my God. R Riley, this is... I don't know what happened. Do you know what happened? I, I was... We were planning the transmitter. Some lights came out of it. There was a, oh, wait, there was a, a giant triangle in the sky above Edwards, right? Did that? Yeah, that, that, that happens. That, oh man. Are you okay? You seem alive, which is maybe more than I can say for myself right now. I am many, many miles from feeling okay. Yeah, me too. W well, wait, are, are we talking physically or mentally? Yeah! yeah! Hey, guys, are you there? Oh, it's... it's Evelyn. Oh, man, thank God, it's only Evelyn. Hey, Evelyn, we're, we're here. Did, did you see or do you know anything about what happened out here? A bolt of lightning or something came out of the transmitter and it, 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 it kind of knocked us out for a bit, but we somehow made it back to my truck. I don't... we don't know what happened. D do you? Over. Oh, jeez, guys, I, I don't... Don't think it was lightning. I, I don't have eyes over there, but the readings on our end are completely flipping out. You need to go back to Camber Cape and see what the transmitter is doing right now. Uh, oh, really? Well, if, if, if you could see what's going on, it seems risky. Evelyn, this is Riley. Sorry, but there's no way we're going back there. I'll hitch back to the airport. You can keep my check. Whoa, whoa. Uh, isn't there isn't there someone you can send out, Evelyn? There's nobody to send. I'm sorry, but we're too far out to get to it in time. Time to do what? In time for us to figure out what's going on before it gets any worse. I hate to ask you to do this, but it's very important you go back there and check it out. <sighs> okay. All we have to do is look at the transmitter and tell you what it's doing. Fine. We'll just do it and regret the decision later. Great. Yeah, but we need assurances. Time and a half. 
and medical, in case our damn skin melts off. I am sure we can cover expenses, Jacob. Just please double time it and get back to that transmitter. Thank you both so, so much. Really, uh, let me know when you get there. Over and out. Here, the walkie I had near the transmitter died, so I assume yours did too. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You, you didn't grab my spare walkie-talkie. You should really get it in case we split up or something. This should work. Man. Okay. Uh, ready? Because I'm not sure I am. Look, I, I know this really sucks, what we're about to do, but I don't know what's going on. But, but it seems extremely... Bad is all I can muster right now, and we're the only ones out here that knows anything about it. So, I feel like sometimes people are put in positions where they can most matter, and this feels like it matters, right? So, if it's up to us to do this, then let's get to doing. Wait, wait, Violet, listen. There? That's... Their transmitter. Hey, we can hear you, you know. This isn't a secure line. Over. Oh, no, Riley. Ah, uh, it's you. You know, they did mention something about a stranger coming with a shield she thinks is a sword. I didn't think it'd be a 45-year-old with a transmitter. But I guess that's my fault for assuming things. Um, I'm not 45, all right? How old are you? Old enough. Charlie, are you still there? Yeah. Head to the ranger station. You can get the receiver there. We need it to fix the antenna, okay? Oh, and Riley? Riley Poverly, right? How's the new job? You like it? Is it working now? Wow, I'm really impressed. You took a picture and reverse image searched. Awesome. Technology, right? Not exactly. I know, because they never lie to me. Watch for the stars. They will be your guide. Over and out. That doesn't sound good. They sound young. You have any idea who they could be? Uh, I, I don't know. One of them sounds familiar, but I'm not sure yet. Let's, let's just hurry up and see what the transmitter's doing. Come on! Yep, right behind you. Let's go. Okay, this, uh, this looks very volatile. It's affecting something over Edwards Island. You see that? What the hell is that? That giant thing in the sky. That's a huge light show. It looks like, like a giant hole in the sky. How is that possible? Is the transmitter really affecting it? It's beaming some kind of energy to it, but... Riley, this is gonna sound... I, I, I don't know, but this is all... I've heard about this. Someone told me this was possible years ago. She, no one really believed her. 
Jacob, do you know something that I don't, or... Wait, Riley, do you, do you hear that? There's... Uh, hear what? You don't hear that? It sounds like... It, it sounds like... Kids. Jacob? Jacob, oh can, can you hear me? It, it sounds... Does that sound like a, a radio? What is going on? Jacob! Jacob! Oh, God. Closing. You gotta go home. Hey! Anyone know her? What? Anyone friends with this woman? What's that? Anyone? No? I didn't even do anything, okay? What are you coming at me for? What am I coming at you for? You haven't even paid your tab yet. Hey! Wait, buddy. You were talking to her earlier. Are, are we in... I mean... This is Garland? God, this is crazy. The time glitches, the jumping around. Riley, I think I might know what's going on. But first, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, looks like a climbing anchor. Well, I won't be able to use this unless I get some rope somewhere.
Evelyn, you there? Over. Oh, I don't think we can get through. Look, I... I, I think I know what might be going on, but it's going to take some explaining. My cottage is just up the way here. I might have something that could help. It's not very far. Jacob, what do you know? What is going on? I took this job because I've been into this stuff ever since I was young, and I'm not just randomly into radio technology. I mean, I know, I know what transmitters are for a reason. When I was a kid, there was this older lady who lived in town. Well, she lived on Edwards Island, really, but she got her groceries and stuff in town. She studied this stuff. Weird frequencies, signals, she had lots of theories no one believed, or would believe. When we were kids, we were kind of friends, and I, I have a lot of her journals still. I know she wrote about something like this. I, I think it can help. I know it can. Um, what theories? What, what did she think about? I'm sorry, I, I'm confused. The cabin's just up uh, this way. Not that it's gonna wow your socks off or anything, but I like to explain to people that I inherited it. Yeah, just, just so you don't think. It's not like this is my beach house or anything. My parents had me and my brother old and both died in our 20s. Oh, that, I'm sorry, that, uh, that sucks. Yeah, would've been nice for them to have met each other a little younger, but I, I guess I'm just happy they met at all. The cabin and the money left me in my parents' will means that I have to worry, but it's not like a huge deal, basically. I, uh, <laughs> I used to worry this made me a boring person. I'm compelled to remind you that this place was an inheritance. I'm not a secret billionaire. Just look at my shoes. Exactly what a secret billionaire would want me to think. <laughs> Trust me. If I was a billionaire, I'd wake up every morning, grab a bullhorn, and shout, I am a billionaire! Secrets are for people who can't pay violation of noise fines. All the stuff that we need is inside. Should just take a minute, I know exactly where it is. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Do we need to review doors again? No, I... The door is locked, which it should be. The keys, however, are not where they should be. They're, oh, I can picture it, they're in the kitchen drawer. I was moving things around this morning and I forgot to put them back in my pants. Really? Come on, dude, that's the first pocket you check when taking a walk. Yes, thank you, got it. I watched a video on how to pick locks. I think I remember the host's hair color. Yeah, I'll tool around with it for a bit and if push comes, I'll just unscrew the damn thing. Long shot, but do you got your garage door opener on you? Believe it or not, not a usual pocket suspect. Sorry. Did that? No. Okay. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Rats. Damn it. Wow. Maybe? No. Doesn't look like he cleans the gutters much. Eh, maybe he plans to. surprised. I need to get up there. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. This should reach the window. Really? This is going to take a while.
Encyclopedia Brown, a biography of Guglielmo Marconi. I don't know who that is. And an eighth grade science textbook. Jacob, you are a man of interesting tastes. Oh. Not bad for an amateur. Oh, his brother. Didn't think they'd be twins. for a pizza right now. Uh, hello? Hi, this is a pre-recorded message. You've reached the Kamina High School radio advice line. If you'd like to get some advice, please call again when the line is open. Listen to 88.1 to tune in and find out when to call. Thank you, have an okay day. Thanks. How'd you get in? You left your upstairs window open. I used your ladder. I left that open again. God. I'm gonna find a barn owl in there chewing on my pillow one of these days. Uh, the journal should be just over here. I know there was one where she talked about gates. Windows to perpendicular spaces. I know it's in here. Just, uh, hey, hang on. So, do you eat anything other than pizza? Um, no. I really thought about lying there, but uh, the evidence is pretty damning. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, this is it. W one of the journals that belonged to Maggie Adler. She was stationed at Fort Milner, right here on the coast, when the submarine crashed. She said it was a mistake, that the whole thing had an experimental engine or something. And that when it blew up, something happened to the reactor. It split the crewmen from our reality, forced them in between time, in between dimensional planes. They were gone, but not really. Are they still out there or wherever? Maybe. I used to pick up radio signals that sounded, you know, sailory, but it's been a few years. Maggie did all these experiments and, and, and research in the last half of her life. She discovered radio waves can reach through planes of existence. It can, it can affect the past and, and the future. But, I mean, you know, without hard proof, without the knowledge of the inciting incident, no one really except me believed her. I mean, not that I, you know, blame them. I mean, okay, so let's say everything you're telling me is true. How does this help us solve this? Just look, this one, she told me about ghosts, about people she cared about, a woman named Anna that died to one of those things. She called them gates. And I think that big triangle thing in the sky is one of them. I could barely understand what she was talking about. I was just a kid, you know? So what are they? Or it, what is it? I still have no idea what it is. It's, I, I think it's a hole between what Maggie called comprehensive states of matter. Everyone else would probably call them timelines or, or maybe dimensions or something. Miss Adler said she spoke through a, a, a portal or a gateway or whatever to a Sergeant Griffin years after he died. He was on the USS Canaloa, stuck in time. These were my versions of, you know, of campfire stories, I guess. So, those scary translucent things that, I don't want to call them this, but I will. The ghosts, those things are them? The crew of the Canaloa? Oh, I don't know. I mean, may maybe they're completely different interdimensional beings. How would I know? But uh, just wait, there's more here. What we need is this guy. Uh, yeah, here it is. She writes, Huh. 
Jacob, not in your head. Oh, yeah, sorry. She's... Uh, she, she says that... Harmonizing electromagnetic waves emitted towards a gate could successfully diffuse its source signal. See? See, so that's this this is what I thought when the transmitter went crazy. Th that first one was diffusing the signal and starting to cancel out the, the gate. So transmitters can diffuse the source signal. We can use them to stop it, based on what Maggie thinks at least. So we use the transmitters then, right? Enough of them should knock out its power. Yeah. I think. I mean, we saw what the one did, which is definitely what we want to do. Because you know, Ma Maggie says she wrote here that the gates or portals, whatever you want to call them, can, in theory, destabilize the properties of our current existence, which doesn't sound good. Yeah. All right. I get the gist. I think bad stuff will happen. What's what's next? The general store's holding our transmitters, right? And climbing gear? Because if that's the case... That's what Evelyn said. Yeah, they have my stuff. So I know the owner, and I know where the key is. So that's no problem. After that, we'll have to put another three transmitters to triangulate the right harmonic frequency. The math dictates they have to be roughly equidistant and at the same height. So for us, that means a clear view of Edwards Island to compete with the signal traffic and get through to the other side of the harbor. After that, it should work. Sounds like something that makes just enough sense that I'll go along with it until it doesn't work. That's about the level of confidence I'm at, too. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, okay. <clears throat> Let's get back to the general store, get those transmitters and gear. I just hope we're right. Riley! Riley, are you there? Pick up right now! Over! Hey, Evelyn, do you uh, see or like know how insane this is getting? Over. Riley! Riley, thank God! Okay, you're okay. Everything's okay. Okay, that's good. The readings we're getting on our end here look really bad. We just know, based on these figures, there's something electromagnetic that's building in intensity. Evelyn, hey, it's Jacob. Yeah, we know it's bad and, and getting worse, but we figured out that if we use the transmitters to nullify the bad frequencies, it can diffuse them completely. You figured it out? Figured it out how? Over! Some old lady's journals Jacob had lying around. What? Just, just don't worry. We know what to do. The transmitters will act as a net. It would be like the old radio towers. The geography's bend is like a natural amplifier. All we'd have to do is just place them high above sea level, and it'll knock out the signal that's screwing everything up. Hmm. Uh, actually, this, that might work. Ugh, and the stuff you need is just sitting at the general store right now. Ugh. That's not a big deal. That's Fred Hollinger's place. He's a buddy of mine. He keeps a spare key to the front door behind the back doormat. Hey, and I was gonna suggest just throwing a brick through the window. Okay, let's go. All right, I got a lot of stuff to get ready over here. Good luck, guys. Godspeed. Over and out. Oh, and Jacob. Sorry, I forgot. Did you ever find Athena? Oh, uh, uh, no. Not, uh, not yet. You know, I, I'm sure she'll turn up soon. Country dogs can handle anything, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, th thanks for checking. Over and out. Sorry, I... Uh, my, my dog, Athena, got out last night. She goes on walks by herself all the time, but this is the first time she hasn't come back right away. Something spooked her, but... I, I don't know. Ah, oh, poor baby. If she goes on walks by herself all the time, I'm sure she'll turn up. She probably got some doggy action and doesn't want to come home yet. <laughs> Maybe. I'm hoping we'll just run across her. Oh! Ow! Ooh! Sorry! Uh, the rocks are a little slippery. <laughs>
You know, I, I used to think about Maggie Adler and just what she used to tell me about all this, at least an hour of every day. With time, it faded, you know, like everything. But I never stopped playing around with radios. Just trying to prove her right. Trying to vindicate her a little. Okay, made it. Just this way to the general store. Cross your fingers, he never moved the key. Just, uh, follow me. It's right here. Okay, key should be right under the mat. Real high-tech security, you know? Ah, I'm stealing gum. It's happening. Mm, but which one? I'll take fresh breath to good karma any day. Do it to it? Eh, I'm all talk. Besides, the amount of fake sugar in these things, I don't need to grow an eyeball on my foot. Can we leave, like, a note or something? And what would this note say? The universe possibly collapsing, can technically rob you, hugs and kisses, shake and ride. There's the gear. Let's go. Uh, mind if I take a look at the gear? A few more transmitters, and... It looks like a climbing rope, clasps, everything we'll need. Which, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to that part. Try not to think about it. Don't worry about the climbing part. With the rope, it's pretty easy, honestly. Easy for some people. Now we're set. Anyways, let's just, let's just focus on fixing it. We got our gear, we got our map. We're not restricted to the beaten path, so to speak. We should start walking to as above sea level as we can get. Take a look at your map, and let's pick where we want to go. All right, have an idea of where we're going? Let's just walk. Just like a museum, I prefer not to make a whole plan first. Just start moving and see what you see. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Olivia Massel? I thought she sounded familiar. Have you heard that name before? Massel? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, Olivia Massel is the teenage daughter of, uh, well, the easiest way to say it is their cult. The Massels. A well-known group of nutter-butter lunatics. Extremely wealthy, very insular, very private. Her mom and dad actually died in a prop plane crash almost four years ago, but she lives with her aunt and uncle now. Did that weird thing on the trail path? That's them. Parentage, they call themselves. And there are stories. All right, Jacob, seriously, what are you suggesting here? 
Hey, I'm just saying what I know and what I've heard, and you can take it or leave it. I just, I, I think it's her. Evelyn, what's going on? Over. I just wanted to see how you were doing and how it's looking out there. Over. Evelyn, uh, how do I put this? I think it's more than just the portal, or maybe the portal is causing it? But there are definitely, like, ghosts out here with us, or something very much like ghosts. I know this sounds insane, but... No, I don't think you're insane, Riley. Our weather station and relay measurements are, well, the numbers are... Otherworldly, way off track from where they should be. Yeah, yeah, Jim, I know. Sorry, a co-worker's letting me know he couldn't get his car started. It's okay. Riley, I want to stick to the plan. Still plant those transmitters, but can you do me a favor? Could you give me a call whenever you plant a transmitter? It would help me help you with what's going on. Yeah, Evelyn, that's fine. Over. Great, great. It's important you call me before you head out to your next objective when you plant them, okay? It'll help a ton. Okay. Okay, I'll let you go. Remember, I'm on seven. Good luck out there. Over and out. What is this? Oh, no way. I buried this. When I was a kid, Maggie had me bury letters for her. Weird, I know, but she paid five bucks each. I promised I'd never read any of them. Never did. Never will. Keep your eyes open. I guarantee there are more of these out there. Something must have gone wrong with their... whatever they were doing. This, they said I was gonna have to work with somebody. And I said, you know, that's fine. What, uh, what can you tell me about them? And they said, all we can tell you is that she used to live here and then she moved away. And now she's moved back. Yeah, and, and I remember thinking, that's funny. I never heard of anyone ever coming back. Um, tell you the truth, Jacob, in my case, this was the only job I could get. Ed burned a few too many bridges, and uh, not a lot of employers will take bartender references on an application. So, I needed to come back, really. 
Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, got it. Hey, you know, your dad rewired my folks' garage when I was a kid. How's the... how's he doing? Still an electrician? He's, uh, you know, he's fine. Still paints his little models. Last one was a Revolutionary War platoon or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I think I, I remember him being into those. Look, you, you, you came back because he needed this job, and I know that it's going terribly wrong so far. But it's only the first day. I, who knows what tomorrow will be like? Hey, you're right. Maybe it'll get even worse. <laughs> yeah. Cross your fingers. Oh, there's a weird-looking lock on the door. It might be a radio lock. One of those things that needs a calibrated radio to tune open. They use alternate frequency RF signals to control the deadbolt. If we had a radio with a broader range, we could tune in its code and unlock it. Hmm. Oh, man. Well, I don't think we can get around. It'll be impossible to get in unless we find one of those radios. Ugh. Let's just come back later. If we find a better radio along the way, great. If not, maybe we'll have come up with a workaround. Yeah, okay. Hey, I was meaning to ask, when you were, uh, you know, in my house, in my bedroom is this, uh, thing I've been working on for, like, for, like, years. Clay sculpture? I can't remember if I covered it up or not, but, um, assuming I didn't, and assuming you took a look, and assuming you formed an opinion upon looking, what might that opinion be? Lots of assumptions there, I realize. But, uh, you can't make an omelet, <laughs> am I right? Yeah, I saw it. It was kind of hard to miss. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm ever going to get it downstairs. So, thoughts, questions, comments? Minor criticisms that'll keep me awake at 2 a.m.? Under this hat, I'm all ears. And conditioner. Was it finished? It didn't look finished. I had an art teacher once tell me, nothing is ever done, it is only ever due. So, yeah. It is unfinished. Yeah, and, and I wonder how many classic works of art are, too. Maybe someday it'll leave the bedroom, have the world uncover it, you know? See if it was worth the dirty fingernails. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. A wonderful word. Yeah, how it... Let's you off the hook of responsibility in such a gentle way. strikeout tonight in terms of luck. Broken truck, lost dog, and now, uh, this situation. However you classify it. Hey, never say never. Strikes don't necessarily have to stop at three. There's always room for more. And hey, there's strike four. Last night I had a dream. I was taking a walk and someone was approaching. It turned out it was me. And like, not a mirror, it was another me, only. These feel a little more considered than random stray thoughts, but okay, Maggie. You didn't have a face. And, and then I reached up to see if I did, but Athena barked me awake before I could find out. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just 
just came to me right now. Just pops out of nowhere. Dreams are complete nonsense. It's just your brain, you know, sweeping up. Don't read too much into it. Or at all. I don't know. Didn't, you know, didn't feel like nonsense. Anyway, shake it off, Summers, right? <laughs> right. So, embarrassing confession. Before my truck broke down, I was headed to the library to return a book. I was a month late in returning. I'm talking 30 proper days, and I never even this finished. building looks like Lewis and Clark could have slept here, but the uh, security's new. Maybe it's a meeting house now or something? Oh, this place? No, no, this is the, the uh, Erentage building. They're the permanent residents. They rent it for their church functions. bunch of creeps. Even their church has to have this giant gate. Well, to be fair, I think that was both before they took it over, but yeah, creeps. Uh, uh, re returning to earlier. I mean, is it weird that I don't mind paying late fees? I get that getting rid of them promotes library usage, which is a big plus. But I mean, there has to be consequences. Life is nothing but late fees. No, I get it. Hell, they should increase the fees. Give that lesson a capital L, you know what I mean? Bold, uncompromising, and a little scary. I like it. Anyway, now... Hmm. She was still trying to experiment with this stuff, even then. You know, judge me. Hmm, go ahead. Finish the damn thing. Come on, at this point, you're, like, morally obligated. You're not the boss of me. But, it, yeah, I, I should. I will. But because Jacob decided so. Thank you and tip your weight staff. When we're done with all of this, you should come back here. Like this area. Best sunset view in town. Five crisp dollar bills in your pocket, you find a better one. So noted, and I intend to collect summers if it ain't up to snuff. 500 pennies, you have my word. Sunsets on Mars are blue. Did you know that? Something about the, uh, the dust in the atmosphere? Blue Martian sunset. Saw it on the nature show. That sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does have a wacky flavor of ice cream flavor to it, huh? I'm kind of jealous, you know? I mean, I'm totally down with, uh, earthly and sunsets. No complaints. But, I, I don't know. Makes you wonder what else is out there. And how much of it we'll never get to see. Maybe that's just me. Don't be jealous. Our sunsets kick the crap out of theirs. Blue schmoo, we're the bell of the celestial ball. Yeah, we do good work, it's true. Great work, even. But who knows? Maybe it's better to be blue. We'll just take the short path down to the beach, and then it's, uh, just across the way. Should be a good lookout for a transmitter location past that. Watch, uh, watch your footing. It gets kind of steep. 
Yeah, I uh, got it. I don't know how you do this so fast. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Take piano lessons. Ah, oh, another anchor. See? We can climb down from here. Oh, goody. <clears throat> hey, you doing okay? You kidding? This is my uh, happy place. <laughs> Not too shabby. Yeah, I feel like I shouldn't be banging my knees against the wall so much, but yes, I survived. Hey, that's Olivia's friend, Charlie. Hey, buddy, wait up. Jacob, wait, let's stick together. He has something. Wait! Ugh. We need to get through here. Yeah, I know. Open this right now. No way, man. You guys have totally... You can't just lock the gate. You and that, that, that woman. This is public property. You two have screwed this thing up enough as it is. This is... Oh, this entire thing is completely ridiculous. What do you even think you're doing? Open the gate. Hey, you, lady, you and uh, Gingerbread here better quit following us. Oh, you or bad me? things are gonna happen. Uh, who's Gingerbread? Is that Jacob? Did you two just meet or something? This is stupid. Look, whatever you and your little friends are don't doing. Don't follow me. Don't follow us. Stop what you're doing. Last warning. Wait! And Gingerbread, come on. Are these your work hours or something? You look exhausted. And I mean that in a bad way. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you eat something? And go to hell also. God, you and your entire freak show crew. Okay, okay. Jacob, he's gone. You can breathe. Oh, it's just mm, so annoying. What if we'd gotten here just two minutes earlier? <sighs> okay. Okay, it's I'm fine. There's probably a key for the lock at the ranger station. It's just up here. Ugh. So, uh, gingerbread. What's... Yeah, 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 uh, gingerbread. It's... Ah. Uh, this is incredibly dumb, but... Two summers ago, I was at the beach and I went to go to the bathroom in a, you know, one of the latrines they have there. And as a prank, some high schoolers pushed it over. And I fell out practically naked and... They call me gingerbread now, as a goof. And that's it. Not a whole lot to explain. Okay, but why gingerbread? Because my hair down there is pretty light, and in the sun it looked red, and so that's... that's it. It's just something some of them thought they saw. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Well, thank God I'm not in high school now. But whatever. Yeah, they can laugh all they want. I don't have homework. Oh, okay. Whew, okay. That's the ranger station, so you're welcome. I, uh, didn't say thank you. Yeah. I just hope... Jesus, what happened here? Looks like... like parentage ransacked the place. Or ha had a seance? God, I have no idea. It's kind of unsettling, seeing the little ceremonies of people devoted to things inscrutable. Ranger! Are you... Uh, in the bathroom? No? Crap. There's broken glass over here. 
That guy, God, he totally wrecked the place looking for comm equipment. Little thief must have taken the ranger's walkie. Let's just look for a gate key to get back on the road. Roger. Maps. With a bunch of districts listed. I guess to delineate which ranger takes which patch of forest in case of anything. I don't know if we'll find the park ranger geographical coding system particularly helpful at this point. I'll uh, just redial the last number. Okay. This is Shelly, park ranger at Oberon Station. Anyone there? Hi. Um, I, I think you called here, maybe? Oh, hey, uh, hi, yeah, I called earlier. This is the Turnstone Forest Station. I'm getting a few scattered reports of an electrical storm in your area. Riley, tell to her what's going on. Fires have started. Have you seen anything? And is Local 43 on standby? Look, uh, Shelly, I know what you're talking about, but it's it's not an electrical storm. Something else is going on, and I, I don't know how much I can get into it without you just hanging up, but... Okay, slow down. First, can I ask who I'm speaking with? Uh, Riley? Riley Poverly? I, I grew up here. So, Riley, it's not a storm. Something else is going on. Okay. I would normally write this up as tomfoolery, but I've been getting too many off-color calls tonight. And I've been hearing other things on my patrols. Stuff I would normally chalk up to coffee-induced auditory hallucinations. But you couple these with the phone calls. It's been an interesting night, to say the least. Real interesting. Times two. So you'll help us out? I'll do what I can, but it's not like park rangers are exactly outfitted for trouble, gear-wise. Hell, we have to provide our own pens. I have to go check something out, but if you have a walkie, I'm on one. Talk to you in a second. Hey, Riley, you there? Over. Yeah, Shelly, I'm, I'm here. Perfect, you sound clear. All right. Is there anything else I can help you with? Over. Uh, yeah, actually, do you, do you happen to know where the key for the gate is? Over. Trying to get to the beach? It's on the bulletin board, tacked up. All right, I have to leave, but I'll be in touch. You do the same. Over and out. Oh, she seems... nice. If Ranger Shelly actually helps us? Sure, very nice. Shelly, you ever heard of parentage? Oh, oh, Lord. God, yes. I have heard of the effing parentage. Sorry. On duty. Try to monitor the language. The number of times I've had to deal with their naked forest dancing ceremonies. It's like, okay, wanna dance naked? Cool. That's why God invented backyards. Over. Sounds harmless. It What's this? Oh, did they stuff a squirrel? A little plaque says, Nutty the Squirrel. I'm sure there's a, a story there. Hey, found a key. There's no markings, but a pink sticker. Oh, awesome. That has to be for the gate. Well, it doesn't have to be, but... You know, hopefully. Hey, when you said your dad took you hiking, sorry, it just reminded me. How's uh, your dad doing? The last time I saw him was back in high school. Yeah, but we were, uh, I was at the grocer and he was before me in line and the clerk asked about you or something. And uh, your dad mentioned how Riley is a name after something. There a story there or? The only story is my mom wanted Anna after some Roman empress that fought with her legion on the front lines. But she left, so my dad could call me whatever he wanted. Oh. He also, your dad, mentioned how proud he was that you, I guess you just enlisted and he was proud of you following in his footsteps. I don't think it was bullcrap, for what it's worth. <sighs> yeah, cool.
keep thinking about what they could be doing, like what they could be trying to do. Parentage, the cult, just with all this. You gotta figure, or at least I'm figuring, there's two possibilities. Either they're a bunch of underbaked human beings making underbaked life choices, just thinking this whole thing's a lark, without really measuring the consequences. Well, Olivia at least seems pretty focused. I just feel like whatever plan they have is baked. She knows what she's doing, or at least why, or whoever is telling her what to do. Or what if they're right? What if whatever they're trying to do is the right thing to do? I uh, hate to be getting in the way of our one true opportunity at eternal salvation. Well, we can't really wait around and see, you know? Yeah, uh, true. I'm also just trying to remind myself that I too was once a dumb asshole teenager who did dumb asshole teenager things. I'm trying to. Maybe not succeeding, but trying. There has never been a single teenager who was also not an asshole. It's, I don't know, biological law. Well, my clueless parents would attest to my being a very good kid in high school. They would, but even I have to admit that if someone had told me I could open a portal in the sky, and make things better for myself. I'd have fallen for it. Probably. Especially in this town, where everything smells like... Hey, wait, there he is. Hey! Ah, damn it! Stop! Crap, let's get that asshole! Ah, oh, jeez. Will you come here? Don't, don't wait for me, just go! Hey, Jacob, you there, buddy? I'll take that as a no. Rover, Red Rover, who wants to come uh, over? Uh, who, uh, who is speaking? Who, who? Are you an owl? Tag, tig, tiggy, tips, touch and go, and then you're it. If to play, just say okay. Okay, fine, whatever. If this, this is what you want. Just follow along. Sticks and stones can break my bones. And so can rocks, and so can blocks. Bloody and red, they'll kill me dead. No more night, no more light. Twenty. Nineteen. Cold. Eighteen. Is it cold in here? Seventeen. Warm. Sixteen. Warmer. Fifteen. Warmer still. Fourteen. Heating up. Even warmer. Ooh, hot. Twelve. Fire. Burning. Less warm. Eleven. Hot. It's the... it's the light. The light, right? Correct! Eeper, weeper, chimney sweeper. Had a wife but couldn't keep her. Had another, didn't love her. The body of the woman was found after neighbors complained about a strange smell emanating from the house every time before. It smells good. Fifteen. Brr, cool. Fourteen. Warm. Thirteen. Twelve. Heating up. Hot. Eleven. Ooh, hot. Ten. The chimney. It's the chimney. It has to be. Correct! Here comes an old soldier from Botany Bay. What have you got to give him today? I'll give him a block. I'll give him a rock. I'll give him a grave. I'll give him a cave. <sighs> Any information regarding the disappearance of little Ten. Hot. Ooh, hot. Brr, cool. Nine. Less warm. Eight. Warm. Seven. Oh, hot. Fire. 
Is there an opening here? The footprints almost look like they go into the wall. Winner! Hickory Dickory Dock. Who is that hiding behind the rock? A shoe. What? What is left? I'll miss feeding you. I'll miss when you sat on my lap. Most of all, I'll just miss you being around. Goodbye, Lewis. You'll always be my favorite gecko in the world. I've... I, uh... I don't know what to do next. What happens next at a funeral? Well, everybody's different, but usually you say some nice words. Funny stories, favorite memories, any you want to tell Lewis? Well, I think my favorite memory is when you threw up on Mom's sandals. <laughs> that was pretty funny. You'd just gone to the store. Yeah, I'd actually forgotten about that. Blissfully forgotten. <laughs> I hadn't. I'm going to miss him so much. I'm really gonna miss him. You don't need to hug me. It's fine. I'm fine. Hey, I'm just trying to be here for you. You know? Comfort you. Well, don't. Okay? Don't. Ugh, he's moving so slowly. I hope I die before you do. I don't want to see you like that. Please don't die before I do. Nobody talks about how scary funerals can be, huh? This is nothing, kiddo. There's gonna be much worse funerals. You gotta, gotta get used to it. Don't look away. I, I don't like seeing him alone. I. Can't we... Isn't there a way to get him back? I don't like seeing him out there. Maybe we... Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Sweetheart, I know it's hard right now, but... No, I want to be with him. I don't want him to be alone. Hey, kiddo, come on. You want to be with him? Wouldn't you miss me? Rex? Damn it! Ugh. Damn no, it! Stop that! I don't want to see him. I don't want to. Mom? Riley? Riley? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm fine. I guess I'm here. I'm okay. Okay. Good. Whew. You were just staring out into the ocean. Didn't blink for a solid minute. Yeah, it was impressive, I'll say. You might want some eye drops, though. Jesus. I uh, wish I had better news, though. Charlie, that kid, got away. He took off over the hill. 
and I thought I was already getting too ahead of myself. So, came back. Oh, thanks for trying anyway. I appreciate the effort. Trust me, my lungs do not. The path he was on funnels back to Tatiga Falls. So, maybe we'll get lucky and he'll still be there. Come on, let's hit the road. Oh, sorry, I forgot to kick the rope down earlier. I was, let's call it focused. Yeah, that's diplomatic enough. There he is! Son of a... God, these assholes! Hey, get back here! Hey! Hey, kid, we need to talk to you, oh, okay? Damn it. Oh, take a little tumble there, pal? Get up. Yeah, okay, asshole. You got me. What the hell do you think's gonna happen now, huh? You have no idea what you're messing with. The powers that they've given us? What? You wanna take a swing at me? Take a free shot, Gingerbread. I got all night. I won't even move. Land a solid one, right there. Oh, will you just shut up already? Let me tell you, you're not helping the situation. Oh, what the hell do you know about it? You're as old as you are stupid. Stop yapping. A final warning. Ooh. You're just lucky I missed the step. What we're doing tonight, it's gonna change our lives. Change everything. Hand over the stuff you stole from the ranger station. Oh, this stuff? Are you kidding me? Oh, God, you are an asshole. Takes one to know one. That's it. I've had enough of this, this, whatever this is. I swear to God, if you don't start talking some sense right now, you're gonna get your mouth smacked off your goddamn face. Hey, whoa. You understand? I don't speak, dick. Hey. Ow. Uh, hey. Back, back Jacob, off! Stop. Just stop, seriously. We're getting... This is getting bad. Getting bad? This night is literally falling apart, and it's this prick's fault! Him and his whole crew! They think they can mess with me and my, my stuff! And now tonight! Jacob, really, just calm down. We'll figure it out, okay? Fine. Whatever. Do it your own way. So, what, are you, like, a cop? I'm just trying to help. I'm just trying to fix things. Fix the things that you and your friends broke. Now, tell me why you're breaking things at all, okay? Two sentences, go. We're making things right, and tonight's the only night we can do it. You want more? Because that's about as simple as I can make it. Yeah, I need more. That's not going to cut it. Speak in detail. Well, you can forget it. I'm not getting into it. I, I can't. I can't let her down. I just can't, okay? And besides, I need them to help me too. And I'm not about to start messing with that. Not for you. No way. Fine. You're coming with us. We're not done. Yet. I... wait. Who's... <sighs> Whoa. Uh... Is this... What's happening? Uh, he's... It's like he's sleepwalking. I don't know. I, this is nuts.
What should we do? We can't just leave him, right? I, I know I'm hearing a radio signal. Maybe there's a way to... I don't know. I, I don't know what to do. Hold on, kid. I'm... this might help. Okay, he's... There's, there's no blood. Nothing's shattered. I think he's asleep. And not like unconscious, but like sleeping. I mean, that's good, right? I'm jealous. How good does a nap sound right now? I mean, paradise, but I'm just glad he's okay. Yikes. Sorry, Charlie. That looked rough. Both the falling and everything before it. I'm sorry, but back to the, uh, the, the stealing our future stuff. I mean, should we be doing, like, anything about that? How do you uh, want to handle that? Any, uh, any thoughts? Nothing's changed. Jacob, it's the same as it's been. We plant the transmitters. We stop those kids. We stop the ghosts. We go home and have a shower. Roger. Okay, transmitter. Let's find a place for it. Uh, hey, I, I just want to say sorry about getting too hot with the kid. Don't sweat it. It's over. Thanks. I just... I don't know. The kid just really got under my skin. I'll be better. Don't worry. I'd, uh, I, I'd place that transmitter here. I think it's our best bet. It's the highest point in the area. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Just got a vision from the future. We catch nothing and get takeout for dinner. I guess we gotta go home. Don't wanna piss off the, uh, the, uh, future. Yeah, uh, I can, uh, relate. You're usually very, the ends don't justify the means, so I'm surprised we're fishing at all. We're not catching anything anyway. Not if we don't use live bait. 
the guy at the store said so. Remember? Oh, uh, what, what are we using? What's the difference? The difference between what we're using and live bait is that our bait is dead. Taking so long. Let's just go to seafood sales. Please? I know. Get used to it. That's your answer to everything, but ugh. Can we leave? Please? I'll share my hush puppies. I'll share a hush puppy. You are young, and life is long, and there is time to kill today. And then one day, you find ten years I've got behind you. Get out. This waiting? This is what it's all about. Waiting is what makes this makes everything worthwhile. Well, it can also still suck. Which it does. Oh, you owe me so much pizza after this. Hey, check it out. I, I, I think I got one. Almost got him. Oh, can we fry him? Is that a thing? I want to eat him tonight. How about we bake it? Maybe some salad, too? Oh, okay, sure. I'll eat my own barf. You got it. Mm, it's dead. Mom? 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 Come on, we're leaving. alive too and like not in dirt but in bugs hey it's okay man take a second I okay I'm trying to take it hmm I would take all the seconds but <sighs> I just want to get out of here Charlie must have left or I, I don't know what I don't care let's just let's just go what about finding Charlie Jesus we chased the kid halfway through the freaking county yeah and we found him and then you know nightmare so seriously, screw Charlie, screw this waterfall, screw everything. We planted the transmitter. We're done here. We're leaving here. Whew. Oh, man, that was brutal. Hey, uh, you okay? I am uh, processing. Best I got for you. Flash of green. What did Maggie say? Slippery. Hey, uh, watch, uh, watch your step here. Hey, Riley, are you there? Over. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm here. Um, over. I've been getting calls from local residents. Uh, concerning sightings, I guess. People reporting seeing a, what I would assume is a sort of bioluminescence out in the storm. They're not talking about the situation above Edwards Island. This is something else, but it's hard to get a visual from my station, even with the binoculars. Sheesh, people really love tagging everything up here. Oh, that, yeah. That's been here a while, though. Yeah, like when my dad was a kid, he had his photo taken, and this was in the picture. Something about it being old just makes it more uh, acceptable for some reason. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm here. Um, over. Have you seen anything like glowing objects? I'm going to investigate, and it'll take me probably half an hour. Just wanted you to know. You can still contact me if you have any questions. But I'll be away from the station for a while. Mm, okay. Uh, well, keep a lookout for any creepy people in masks running around. They're, uh, kind of the bad guys here. Okay, good to know. I'll see if I see anybody. I'll check back in with you, whether or not I see anything. Over and out. Oh, look. 
It says that a, a house, a cabin, was here in the 30s, but a passing transient accidentally burned it down when failing to extinguish his cigarette. Yikes. Only you can prevent forest fires, kids. Hmm, it's interesting. Didn't know that. It's evidence of ghosts, right? This is gonna sound, but I, I keep having flashes of high school passing you in the hall. Mm, don't feel bad, Kenneth. I get the feeling Maggie didn't meet anyone for lunch. Between third and fourth period, that's when I'd see you during the day. Everyone else always looked in a hurry. Definitely weren't. <laughs> we ran in different circles, I think. God, I hated school. Nothing personal against the process, but it's hard for me to sit still for very long. Oh, man, me? I love sitting still. It's like my favorite thing in the world. If I don't have to move my body at all, that's a great day right there. Can I ask? There were like six kids who didn't get a yearbook photo, and I was always like, wouldn't want to get their yearbook picture taken. It's senior year. 
because I'm at heart a dictionary salesman. But can I just ask, did you just not want to? If it's like personal, then forget to ask. My uh, mom left when I was a baby. She just couldn't handle it, my dad says. And sometimes I'd see people who looked like her from pictures my dad had, you know? And on the day they took yearbook photos, I saw her sitting in a car outside the school. It probably wasn't her. I mean, of course it wasn't her, but I just didn't go in. Bummed around with some older friends, saw a movie instead. Oof, sorry. That's, that's hard. I'll see her in reflections and passing windows and stuff still. I try to get over it, you know, but some things make it hard sometimes. Yeah, I'm here. Hi. Over. Riley, hi. So, I didn't find anything on my spot check outside. I scoured the North Woods for a bit before heading back due to the weather. But when I made it back to the station, I had this message on my answering machine. Here, I'll play it for you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a very funny comedian. I know funny. I am funny on sea dial. That was not funny. Two cannibals are eating a clown. One says to the other, says this. Riley. Like, maybe one of those people you mentioned. Or if you've seen anybody else around? Hmm. I don't know, but I'll see what I can find out. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks. Call me if you need anything, or, uh, see anything. Over and out. <laughs>
Sounds like they're starting to move around. Better keep... Oh, wait. Hang on. Look. Hey, doesn't the... Doesn't the light seem weird? Riley. Jacob? Where are you? Hey, Olive Branch. Are your shoes tied? They're tied. Tied? It's tied! Hey, it's because I need you to pay attention. It's tied! Show me. Hang on, look. See? Okay. Olivia? Oh, wait, I... Why do I sound weird? The worst thing you can do to someone is waste their time. And killing someone's basically wasting all their time at once. It was a spider. I didn't know it was in the drain. And now, that spider that lived in our drain is no longer with us, is it? Animals wax and wane too, you know. Planet Shine isn't just for members of parentage. Hey, uh, hello? Can you hear me? So, you can have a sip of coffee later, but not the whole mug like last time. Oh, come on! Well, maybe two sips. And do you understand why? I think so. Is that I just Olivia? want her to learn. And she will learn. Now, what do you want to do today? I want to do everything. No. No. You! How did you get in here? You have no right to be here with them! We really need to... I just... I don't know what's going on. Why I can't keep it together? This is the right night. It has to be. They wouldn't have, wouldn't have told me if it wasn't. I will get to Planet Shine. I will get to Planet Shine. I will. Riley? Riley, are you okay? You kind of zoned out. How are you holding up? I lost you for a second. I saw Olivia. With two older people? I don't know. I think she was trying to do something in the, uh, the time stream. I am not sure. Trying to do... what? What did you see? Another time jump thing? I think she was with our parents, maybe? They were talking about planet shine, that thing she says. I don't know. She seemed sad. Desperate, a little. Hmm. Come on, we still have two more transmitters to place. Let's figure out where to go next. Great. Another anchor for the rope. You getting the hang of it yet? I'm getting it off. Let's put it that way. Ah, bit of a leap there. Uh, we could climb down here also. It might take a little longer. I just don't... I think you would have broken every bone in your body if you tried to jump that. Actually, you're probably right. 
So, we, we want to go up there, but the caves are pretty well connected. We follow this one through, should wind up somewhere on the other side. She admittedly isn't the prettiest plan, but... Uh, unless this is a bear cave. In which case, we probably won't wind up somewhere on the other side. Not unless you mean the other side in some sort of religious sense. No, I don't think there are bears out here, but... Well, of course, now you've got me wondering. Anyways, come on. Just this way, I think. Jesus, when did all this fog come in? Hey, uh, if you're on this frequency, pick up. Who's that? Riley, are you there? Over. Yes, this is Riley speaking. Over. Man, you sound, uh, actually, you don't sound at all how I thought you'd sound. But, uh, how's it going? Over. Uh, not good. I'm kind of in the middle of stuff, actually, so uh, I'm gonna need a point to this fast, okay? Over. Okay. I don't want to waste your time. That's a pretty important resource. But my mom used to tell me stories. That's why I'm calling. Because one of the stories was about tonight and the things that are going on. Anyways, I just had a hunch. I'll see you later. <laughs> Uh, hi? Over? Hi yourself. Can you tell me why you're on this frequency? You're speaking with Nick Stewart, ma'am. Over. I didn't call you, buddy. Over. No, it was you. The reception was bad, but it was you. Listen, I got you on the horn here, so can you do me a favor? You sound pretty clear, which means you're probably in Kamina. Right? Probably at the dock by Charity Point? There's an outpost for local fishermen near you. Can you take a minute and check if a blue backpack... Uh, do you fisher people sleep here? I mean, how long does it take to catch a fish, man? One fish doesn't usually take that long, no. But, uh, anyways, can you take a minute and check if a blue backpack is in the cabin? The door's open. Yeah, uh... <laughs> I'm looking at your radio. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's run on mice on a treadmill. Yeah, it sounds like that, too. Anyways, thanks for helping me trying to find that backpack. Oh, hey, you have a giant fish on your wall. I don't know if you realize. Yeah, that's Wally. Long story. Well, not really a long story. We caught a fish and named it Wally. Thanks for noticing. Anyways, thanks for helping me trying to find that backpack. Oh, uh, sorry, but I, I, I think I found your backpack. Oh, okay, good. I thought maybe I did bring it, but the stupid thing fell overboard. Uh, look, this is an emergency line for boaters only. I'm retired now, but I was sort of an amateur explorer. Never charted anything, but I'm all over Kamina, so if you need any info about the area, or Edwards Island, I've been all up and down the coastline. Just give me a holler. Anytime. I'll be up all night. Sure, I just might. Over. Okay, thanks for the help again. Over and out. Evelyn, you there? I planted the first transmitter. Great, awesome. The numbers are coming back. It looks so weird. Like, the frequencies look like they're decaying, but also... Huh. It appears to be breaking a lot of rules Doppler established 200 years ago. How are things looking? Does it feel weird out there? Over. Oh, it's pretty nuts out here, Evelyn. If I were you, I'd stay inside. Hunker down. Over. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You see that? Hello? Hey, whoever you are, show yourself. Now. 
Oh, hey, check it out. We could probably climb down this. Wow, your night vision is way better than mine. Didn't even see this. Lead the way. Jacob? Hey, sorry. I thought I saw another way out over there, but also... Oh, wait. Wow. This is... I've never been in here. Hey, watch your step. I don't think this was meant for tourists. It's... Uh, sort of pretty, in a way. No, it's amazing. I had another life, I would have been a geologist. Or took at least an intro to geology course, you know? No way. Yeah, that is a bird. Feathers, beak. Uh, why is it here? I would guess to detect carbon monoxide, but no one's worked down here in decades. So, uh, beak? Hey, look, Jacob, it's an anchor. Yeah, which means it's another rope climb adventure. You first. Uh, what is that? God, I don't know. Some kind of temporal anomaly? Like the thing in the sky? Let's avoid it if, if we can. Uh, let's see what's ahead. Oh, God, there has to be something down here. Dead end. Damn it. I guess we climb back up. Ugh. Oh. My legs are going to be chapped tomorrow. No, come on. There's got to be another way or something, a, a, a hole or a, whatever. Yeah, I'm not seeing it, though I hope you do. Oh, wait. Are, are we really gonna try this? Look, we don't know what this thing will do. I'm sorry, Jacob, but this is the only I way. slightly to strongly disagree, but... Uh, okay. Okay, organs intact, skin attached. I'll take it. I think we're back when the mine was somewhat operational. I don't think anyone's around. Which means we time travel. We have traveled through time. Uh, on any other day, I'd be screaming, but instead... Let's, uh, see if the time tear opened anything up. Hmm. Okay, I'm, uh, starting to get... Sorry, it's, it's not claustrophobia, but, uh... We're just, like, on the precipice of madness here, you know? As a kid, when I was anxious, my brother and I would play a game that kind of helped me out. It was called One Word Story. Basically, two people tell a single story, one word at a time, bouncing back and forth. Should help chill us out. Chill me out, at least. How about that? Uh, sure. Sounds good. Let's do it. Cool. Great. I'll start us off. Once. Now you go. Once. Santa. <laughs> okay. Eight. Once Santa ate. Fourteen. Ooh, good one. Uh, children. I, I don't know why I said children, but let's just go with it. Loudly. Brilliant. Great. The end. Okay, so let's review. Once Santa ate 14 children loudly. The end. Not a... Not oh, looks like it's working. Wonder if this... It worked! Uh, 
Okay, but... Man, I can't believe this thing is working. This whole night is just melting my brain. Hey, be careful. I'm not dragging a corpse to the surface. Sorry. I don't care where you want your ashes spread. I'm careful. I'm being careful. Back in, uh, you know, now. Whew, man. Yeah, thank the Lord or Lords above. Jacob Summers paused. The mountain stood its ground. He knew he needed to climb it. He knew he could climb it. But the doubt, oh, such towers of doubt, if he actually would. Riley climbed with ease. Riley always climbed with ease. But there was no ease in Jacob's spirit. As she scaled the heights with ability and grace, Riley Poverly wished Jacob would get his ass in gear and climb. Jacob noted Riley's impatience. To the surprise Watch of none, your head. it helped not a bit. Jacob was grateful. Embarrassed, but grateful. How many bones do you think I'd break if I fell right now? Break, not fracture. All 206? Oh, they'd write about me in the medical journals. In the dead people section, but still, fame. Upsie daisy and okay, didn't die. Sweet box ticks. After you, Gumshoe. a little bit further. So, getting close. Thank God. Okay, here we go. One ledge at a time. You feel okay climbing this one? Does it matter? Okay, I'll be fine. Let's just do it. Ah, and my fingers are only bleeding a little. The ladder's just up ahead. I think you dropped this. There. You doing okay, kiddo? Uh, Dad? I don't... Wait, what are you... Mother bears will protect their young, especially during mating season, so be extra careful not to break that light. Hey, look, kiddo. I'm sorry you couldn't go on your fifth grade field trip to the National Park. I know you didn't want me to come along and chaperone. You never liked a crowd, but I'm just sorry I couldn't afford it. But we can do lots of hikes like this one over the summer. Oh, uh, why couldn't you afford, or, uh, can't afford it? It's $200, and I don't know why they need $200 for a bus ride to a shared hotel room and communal dinner. 
I'll make it up to you, though. Your uh, teacher said really nice things about you. Said you did really well in science class. And Miss Cavendish said you wanted to write your paper on mom. Riley, she expects you to interview someone for that. You have to think of somebody else. Somebody more available. And I don't mean me. But anybody. I don't want to write about mom. I told Miss Cavendish I would. Miss Cavendish doesn't know our history, Riley, or else she would have saved me this conversation. Your mother, she was incapable of most things. She couldn't love me, and she couldn't love you, and I know in your heart you want to find out why, but there's no why there. Her soul just has too many cracks. You see, it just can't hold anything for very long. You understand? I think so. Good. We can talk about it later, after we find the clearing. Oh shoot, I think we took a wrong turn. It's okay, climb up this ledge and I'll meet you around the other way. Now I'll see you up top in a bit. around the bend. Riley, hey, uh, there you are. I called and called, but echoes, that was... I didn't want to, you know, leave without you, though. Let's, let's just leave. Yeah, definitely. Oh, this, I, I think that's one of, one, uh, one of them, you know, uh, Olivia's parentage freaks. Mm, we must be in range. Keep, a, uh, keep an eye out. I think, yeah, this is near the top. Gotta be a good transmitter spot somewhere around here. Now that I've had a minute or so to process, despite the fact that I went back in time to use a collapsing elevator from the turn of the century, I'm doing all right, surprisingly. Specifically regarding the, uh, the elevator, I should say. Wow, that's just great. We're all very proud. I smell sassafras. 
And that's just fine. You frass that sass. Whatever happened at Fort Milner must have really messed things up for a while. No, no, no! Uh, Don't Violet, hurt look, me! It's that girl, Violet. She's one of parentage. Come on, we have to help her. She's gonna Don't fall. Come on. cry. No. No, I can't believe this is happening. Jacob, I'm almost what, what are you I'm going uh, what are you 17. doing, pal? I'm 17. I am. I'm going to bed. I'm not going. No. You're not going. I don't want to go to the store with you. And why not? Because my friends are. And why are your friends waiting? Because I told them I would. Because you told them you would what? You can't make me. I'm almost... I'm going to be 17. You're 16. I'm 17. I am. And 16-year-olds have to do what they're told. Unless they want to take a bath and go to bed. I'm not going. No. You're not going where? I don't want to go to the store with you. And why not? Because my friends are... And why are your friends waiting? Because I told them I would. Nothing. Nothing. Hey, Jacob, please, come me. on, up and at him, let's go. What else did he get you? Sweet, too. Dad didn't care. Maybe I should have just climbed the cave with you. You doing okay? The peak is just over here. One more thing about school and then I'll drop it because I don't want to ruin the morning. You can't be getting into fights anymore. I know that girl Julie spread some rumor, but uh, they're gonna kick you out of school if you keep it up. No more friends, no more science class. I don't care. Well, let me be clear. You'll still be going to school, just not the school you'd want. Hey, do me a favor and show me that penny you got in your pocket there. The coin you got for change for the soda. When I install electricity in someone's home, I bury a really long, uh, let's call it a stick under the ground. This stick is made of copper, like that penny. We call it grounding. Very important part of the job. Uh-huh. So... Just, just, just give me a second here, okay? I'm trying to do something. Because electricity is a lot like you, right, Brad? It's always mad. And being mad is what lets electricity do its job. But sometimes it can be too much. And that's when people get hurt. Just focus on the penny and just let it go. Just let go of being mad. Because sometimes electricity just needs to go somewhere. Sometimes, you know, sometimes a lot of things do. I'm. Is this making sense? <laughs> since I was 12. I'm already late for school, Mom. I have a test in history, and I can't make it up. I shouldn't have to do this. Just because you went out drinking, I lost your purse. Doesn't mean you can destroy it completely for me.
Over? Feels over. Okay, I think that's, uh, sorted. Let's see if we can help the kid. Listen. Stay right there. I mean it. Okay, I'm... I'm... We're gonna stay right here. I have no reason to believe that you're real. It's only real if Olivia says it is. They've been talking to each other forever. At least, that's what it feels like. You didn't know who's been talking to who? Uh, Olivia and them. They won't let me stop. I just want to go home. That's okay. That's okay. You want to go home? Hey, I want to go home. Do you know where I live? I don't think she's okay, Riley. <sighs> Violet, just relax. The adults are here now. We can protect you. They'll come for you too. Olivia won't stop. Violet, what will come for us? Just keep heading that way, away from us. You should end up near the cliffs. Might be some climbing. You okay with that? I'm going to get my friends and go home now. Uh, thank you. Would have been nice. Don't let them take you. Keep out of trouble. <sighs> I just hope you know what you're doing. Because I don't know if just letting her run off into the night was the right call. Let's just focus on planting these transmitters. Once that's done, it's over. So she can try to get home if she wants. Okay, well, let's find a high spot for the transmitter. Come on. Okie doke. First couple times worked. This should be the same deal, right? Toes crossed. seem to be working. Uh, I feel like we earned that one. Definitely. Let's get back on the trail. Hey, Evelyn, can you hear me? I'm pretty far off the grid, so just checking. Over. Okay, I guess you're crapping. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it, and you can't make me. Uh, talk about what? Brandon is a jerk, and I'm not sorry I told him so. I said I was sorry for pushing him, but I'm not sorry about the rest. So I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay? I don't want to. Okay, we'll talk about something else then. Like, when I was your age, I... Oh my god, never mind! I told Brandon I was sorry, I told Mr. Severson I was sorry, and I am sorry. I mean, he wouldn't stop making fun of my hair. Still, I'm, I'm trying, Mom, to be, I don't know, better. I know you don't believe me. I just get mad, and it's like, 
It's like a sneeze. My hand still really hurts. Real bad. Yeah, sorry to break it, kiddo, but you really can't just punch every problem. There's laws and things to prevent that. I know. I know. I hate getting angry. I hate the feeling. I hate not being able to turn it off. It sucks. I know I shouldn't say that word. Look, it's... You're gonna get mad sometimes. That's the... That's the thing of it. And I think the best thing you can do is just, you know, try not to stay mad for too long. Why are you always mad? Honey, I'm not always mad. I'm not... I'm not... always. No, I don't want to... Uh... Sorry. I, I was just back in fifth grade, yelling at a teacher. Oh, God. These things are really giving me a headache. Weird. This is... this is too weird. Hmm. Seconded. I keep seeing this, like, this kid. And he knows me, and... Yeah. You're not getting that? No. Uh, I'm sorry? I don't know why I'm apologizing, but I'm apologizing. Sorry. Hold up a second. Listen to this. I'm, I don't know what happened, but I ran into that lady in Gingerbread. The lady stopped Jacob from, like, getting into a fight with me, practically. Oh, really? She, actually, her and that guy helped me out a little. I'm heading to the church now. Over. Stop talking on open air! Shut up! Wait, wait, wait. But is the, is the plan to still run the radio station and kill their transmitter array? Over. Shut up! Seriously! There is no plan. But There is no plan! Bye. Over and out. Um... Uh, okay, that didn't sound good, right? Uh, no, it doesn't. We're talking about disrupting the transmitter signals with radio station. Which, unfortunately, could potentially work. Which, uh, isn't good. Okay, but what would that have to do with the church? That's where they said they're going, right? They're talking about... They have to be talking about the community center. That group, Parentage, that took over the lease. And sometimes they rent out the space, but Parentage puts out a weekly address. It's like public access, but worse. Super strange stuff. I, I think they're going to use whatever equipment they have to try and screw up our night. Mm. You know, you know, if we can get to their equipment and turn it off or just break it first. I mean, they're not there yet. Olivia's friend screwed up. I know it sounds caveman, but I think it's the only option we have. Hey, if that's the only plan, then fine. We don't really have a lot of time to waffle. <sighs> True. God. Okay. first heard about the frequencies, the, the weird radio chatter, I thought, man, Maggie, really onto something. Way before any of the rest of us was. And this is weird, I know, but I couldn't help but think about how I'll be looked at later by anyone who knew me. The, the, the lonely old hermit who was right once. I still want my life to be defined by inertia. 
It won't be, Jacob. At least not if I'm around to tell the townsfolk your stories. You'll be perceived more like a, a troll, snatching school children from under bridges. Oh, good. I have visions of me in the future, different dogs, different shows on the TV. But I haven't left. I haven't done. Talk to my brother in New York, really, ever, and I think it's because he feels bad for me. I just hope he's wrong to feel that way. Well, you're sure as hell doing a lot tonight. Kamina would probably be consumed with time ghosts if you hadn't been around to help stop it. Thanks, Riley. I'll quote you on the Christmas card I'll send him this year. So, this thing is still locked. And we still have no way to get through. Right, let's keep looking. Not, uh, here. Hey, Riley. Lights on over there? Over. You hey there, Nick. How are the waves? Over. Let's settle on different. I'm an amateur sailor, you know, but I read books. And if you're learning to sail, the first thing you'll read is, the ocean is never still. Never trust calm water. But tonight, that's all there is. It's still as a cup of water. Never seen such a thing. Still, like, frozen? It's not that cold, right? Over. Right, no, not frozen. I wouldn't be in motion if it was. And yet, Merrily, I roll along. Uh, common sense would have me steer back home, but uh, I should see what's out there. I'm gonna need a tether, though, so if you don't mind, just reach out on the semi-regular. Make sure I haven't completely gone ass over tea kettle. All right, Riley, you keep an eye on the dirt, I'll keep one on the drink. Over and out. Hey, uh, Evelyn, I'm in Garland. Can you hear me? Over. Yeah, this is Evelyn. I'm at work. Who's this? Over. Uh, this is Riley. I I've been talking to you all night. Over. Yeah, sorry, I don't know Riley. Riley. And don't call Maritime Emergency Dispatch unless you have a real emergency. Over and out. <laughs> Hey, Shelly, I want to know more about parentage. Oh, hey, Riley. I, I just finished the skunk spill. Okay, parentage. I mean, this is second hand off someone who smelled like they were carved from gin, but still. So I guess parentage goes back like centuries, and a good few of them. There was this freak lightning storm once over Edwards Island, just out of nowhere. This was right in the middle of a wicked drought, so as soon as lightning touched ground, everything caught on fire. And every one. Hundreds of skeletons. At least, that they were able to count. Uh, so someone decided to make a religion out of this? Well, this is where it goes from bananas to nuts, depending on your definitions. 
apparently, during that fire, this, like, thing showed up in the sky. Like this, I don't know, shape. A woman... slurry at this point. Something opened in the sky and showed paradise on the other side while the earth below it was an actual burning hell. A triangle or... I don't know. She was just shy of intelligible. Over. No way. Way, way. Either that's a new species of bird we're naming after me, or that is a phone ringing, uh, somewhere. Okay, we just did a major bingo square. Pay phone ringing in the wild? Yeah, I should go inside and buy a lottery ticket. Oh, d dude, you better be packing hand sanitizer. Uh, hello? Concern? Alarm? What cause for alarm? What concern? Not to. Cabin. Or my own and form of my love sister. Sister? Wait, are you, are, are you saying the park ranger and you are related, or...? That must have been about the park ranger. That message on her answering machine was trying to lead us here, so we would tell her something. It sounded like, at least. We should call her on the walkie, let her know what happened. Ranger Shelley, it's Riley, over. Riley, hey, find out anything about that answering machine message I got? Over. Uh, yeah, actually, I think a ghost of a dead relative is trying to warn you. So, if you have an uncle that served on the Canaloa, maybe think about not leaving your station for the rest of the night. Over. I do. I, yeah, I have a great uncle. He was a sonar, I think. Well, crud. It said I shouldn't leave the station anymore. I was just about to... Uh, I was just about to go do a check on another distress call. Do you... Do you not think I should go? I sound stupid just asking. Don't go, Shelly. Seriously, it's not worth the risk. I'd listen to it. Over. Uh, this is so dumb, but uh, okay, sure. Sure, fine, fine. I'm, I'll stay put. I can radio in some support from other stations, see if they can cover. Uh, I hope this isn't some... I just hope this is something real. Okay, Riley. Radio if you need anything. And thanks for this. Over and out.
right. Phew. I uh, think we might have gotten here first. Seems pretty quiet. Just uh, follow me. It's right here. Is this gate normally open? Uh, not this late. Olivia might have beaten us here. Hmm. Hello? Okay, we're in the clear. So, if we're right, there's radio equipment around here somewhere. Let's just find it and destroy it before they get here. Yeah, let's just look. We don't need to spend time making a game plan. Hey, you don't have to sell me. Wonder what kinds of performances they put on. Not seeing radio stuff, but this uh, star map is interesting. It's a lunar calendar, too, I'm thinking. Yeah, it's. Huh. Is it a lunar calendar? What are those symbols? Wait, I remember now. Those markings when we walked in, they looked so familiar. I've seen these around town a lot, and, and they always looked kind of, you know, amateurish. Like young people made them. And with a purpose, and a sequence. I think it's how Olivia and them communicate, right? Are you saying that they copied these, or, or what? Uh, maybe. Hmm, yeah, I, I just wonder what any of this has to do with... Hello, hello. Are we all shimmery tonight? Yesterday evening, the world had its first glimpse of the far side of the moon. Oh, I hate when they do this. Is this a... was this a trick or something? They are going to come here and... Yes, yes they are. We heard them. But don't let these things confuse us. If we don't destroy that parentage equipment, then our plan won't work. Let's... Uh, let's just find the station gear. Fast. Oh! Oh! This is one of those... We, we used to call them casters in the army. It's a radio with a broader range. It'll work on... on that lock back in Garland. Radio locks. Oh, this is odd. Parallaxing can happen even when waning. There's a, a construction paper clock here that goes to 32 in the morning. And, oh, a photo of a bumper sticker that says, reach for the stars. Really? That's odd. Kind of silly, to be honest. No coffee machine. Cool, guys. I would say it looks like craft show art, but craft show art has more intensity. Imported from the finest chandeliers are us, I'm sure. The Spectre of the Mountains. Hey, Jacob, you know what this thing is? Uh, the Mountain Spectre is a hallucination, visual phenomena thing. At the bottom, there's some art tapes to it. Looks like children's drawings. That's weird. Is that weird? Oh, looks refrigerator worthy to tell you the truth. Yeah, it kind of is charming in a way. You know, Jacob, I have to say, I know we've seen some stuff tonight. Like, we've seen some stuff, but this, this isn't stuff. This is people who've taken stargazing past, you know, like what some people would call normal levels, but. But it's not really. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's all just a little too... Um... Hippy-dippy-ish? Sure, yeah, but... Uh, uh, whatever, so they're not evil. Or don't appear to be. And they still play bad music on Sundays. So let's find out where and rip out the circuitry.
hey, this looks like something. A cable running the length of the center? Looks like it's connecting something upstairs to something under us. The hidden laboratory, I presume? Well, found the antenna. Looks too sturdy to damage, honestly. Yeah, looks like it's from the 50s. Or 40s? A military tech from that era looked very similar. This stuff is made out of alloys that ain't gonna bend. Let's find the control panel that works it. I think that cable tracks all the way to here. Something feels off about the floor. It feels hollow, right? Ooh, look, see? This goes down to a basement. The lock looks strange. There's no keyhole or combo. Hmm. Huh. There's gotta be a way in. Even if it's storage, they'll need to get it sometime. Hard to argue. Aha! See? I knew the radio from upstairs would come in handy. There's a radio lock on the panel here. It's old military tech from like the 50s. They use alternate frequency RF signals to control the deadbolt. But we can use this radio with its broader range to tune in its code and unlock it. Um, theoretically. Oh yeah, I think Maggie actually had something to do with these. I'm, I'm not entirely sure though. Let's try it. Awesome. That's some fine radio unlocking. Yeah, great. Cross your fingers, there's not just a bunch of old blankets down there. <coughs> oh, sorry. The dust is getting to me. But yeah, jackpot. Now look at this stuff. That's a Rhino 320. Oh, control board for the station. Check out the antenna cord going up through the floor. She would have won beauty contests in 1978, but not so much now. Okay. Let's, uh, let's smash it. Or, uh, something. It just can't be functional when Olivia gets here. Yeah, I could really use the opportunity to unleash some aggression here. Well, don't let me stand in your way. In fact, uh, you know, I'll just be over here. Behind you. Whoops. I guess the cult members will need to get their traffic updates from some other source now. Let me tell you, that felt a little good. No, we I lied. Somewhere. A lot. Look good. Around. Well, where, where oh, was listen. he? This you hear that? place is. It wasn't in your shed. Oh, it's no. the, uh, the kids. Said it'd be in Olivia and them. It wasn't in the shed because he doesn't keep it in the shed. Wait, Olivia, I thought we were here to broadcast these. Yes, 
We're here to cancel out their stupid transmitter array. If we don't also fix our antenna, locking out their signal won't help us. And your uncle has a, a toolbox somewhere? He did at one point, but now I guess it's Her in the office. uncle? What does Why he have to do with this? Why would your uncle have a tool to fix our antenna? Because he's an electrician. That's what he does. It's his job. Electricians fix this kind of thing? No, but he has the battery we need and a wrench. Uh, okay. Just trust me. Get out. You don't touch anything. A lot of stuff's been blessed by Earthshine, and your grubby little fingerprints can ruin. What was that? Ah, crap. Is, is that? Riley, are you in here? Okay, let's take a breath. Take a breath? You're standing in time devotional, you disgusting piece of garbage! Do you have any idea where you are? This building, these walls, are sacrosanct. Okay. I know you're upset, Olivia, but let's talk, okay? We're here, let's talk. Talk? <laughs> I don't talk to earthworms. Earthworms wouldn't be able to understand. Understand what? What are you even trying to do? Is parentage? Parentage has no idea I'm even here. My aunt and uncle are clueless. They never approve of the ceremony. It's off chart. I'm taking it myself. Olivia. Charlie, take them down. You have your knife, right? My knife? Are you kidding me? You brought okay, it! Okay, whoa, slow down. This is getting insane. Charlie, focus up! Don't listen to their bullcrap! Come on! She was nice to me before. What does that even mean, nice? I really don't want to hurt anyone, Olivia. Charlie, there's nobody here that can make you do anything you don't want to do. I gave you a second chance at the waterfall. Show me you earned it. I... God. Olivia, I'm... Olivia, I... I don't like this. Who gives a crap what you like? I... I don't. I'm not quitting, but... But what? Okay, just leave her alone, Olivia. You didn't see her at Charity Point. She's had a rough night, right, Violet? I... I... Nothing has even happened yet. It's all noise and fury. They haven't fixed it. Tonight is the blue moon. Yanis is aligned. Don't you get it? This is once every 10... No, 20 years. Once this is done, we're all set. Absolutely nothing is going to... I... Hold on. I'm sorry, Olivia, but I'm out. What? Yeah, I can't do this anymore either. You're both out? We, we just... In many forms of games, being out of bounds refers to being outside the available playing area and can result in severe penalties. Shut up! Right. Please. Please. Oh. Hello. Please. Oh. Enough. Hello. You. Not. Triumph. You will not reach. Hey! Whoa. They're turning off the power. Hey, come on, turn that back on. God damn it. Olivia, what? Hey lady, I don't know what the f you think you're doing here, but this ain't your house! Huh? Look, it's an ensign. What do those little triangles do again? Don't mess with it, those things are dangerous. Olivia, find, find, and see. No. And we can shelter you. It's a particle of grace. Luna is speaking to us. Wait, Olivia. If you both want out, then go. I know my place in this universe. Wait, Olivia, stop! Crap, Riley, we have to stop her. Get a radio. Olivia, this is... You're crazy Riley, if you... get the hell out of my way! Olivia! No, wait. Riley, she helped me. You... you... What? She talked to you before? She pretended to listen to your prattle? Wake up! Violet, I want... This is not your race. Not again! Ah. Please. Okay, this sucks. Can we stop this, please? I see the radio. It's over... Crap, it's Harley! Riley! Can you get out of my way, please? I'm yeah, sorry, I'm going for Olivia, it. but. Just Ow! Move. Fine! Fine! Jesus! Get away from her! Get out! Just shave off! Oh, God. I'll be amazed by Luna's glory, maggots! 
Oh, will you just shut your trap? Change it back! It, it does what it needs to. We are only custodians. You're all so... You can't control this, Olivia. Not even a little bit. Oh, shut up! this is over. I need this to happen tonight. It's the blue moon. What are you talking about? It's her parents. Shut up. Don't talk to them about it. It's... it's... it's none of their... there's nothing to do with them. What is this about your parents? Olivia? What do you want to know? That they died in a plane crash two years ago? You've been here, what, an hour? I'm sure you've heard the story by now. It's everyone's favorite to tell. The crazy lunatics who joined a cult and died, leaving their daughter to her aunt and uncle. Well, it's not a cult, it's a faith, and it's real. Tonight only proves it. I don't know if tonight really proves anything, Olivia. I don't know, man. What is it exactly that you believe in, Olivia? I believe sometimes it's better to just stay. Just stay in a moment that you know won't last. But that you know is better than anything that will ever come after. Parentage believes that all time, all matter is constant and persistent. And you can talk to other times, other versions of you of loved ones. On certain days when the lunar veil is weak. Tonight's the blue moon. And if you give me back my radio, I'll be able to bring them back. I'll be able to live in that memory of them forever. You almost got your friends killed to hang out with people who are already dead. Not exactly an even trade. Whatever. There are beings on the other side. You've seen them too. They're not what you think. They can help. Help you, help me, help everyone. Just give me back my radio. And I'll show you. I'm keeping this, and once the transmitters are done, maybe I'll think of giving it back. Whatever you have to do. One more thing. These beings. I think they're the ghosts of a World War II relic. What exactly have these things said? Leave is possible. I am feeling it's hard. God, can't you just leave them alone? You know, I like you. I like you a lot, Riley. I really do. I wish this didn't have to be so hard for you. This sucks, right? It sucks. You hate it. I hate it. Nobody wants to see their friends possessed. Nobody wants to feel I'm sorry, the night's progressed to the point where I can speak a little more freely. My name's Alex. These are my friends. Uh, Alex? Yeah, Alex. Named after my great-grandmother, Alexandra. We were teenagers, like Olivia and her friends. We went to Edwards Island, I don't know, years ago, months, weeks from now. It's hard to tell. It used to be a military base, but now it's... They got it, Ren. Thank you. We got stuck. That's the point. And now we can't get out. We can get out. We just need... A little boost. I'm still unclear on how the whole thing will work. Well, Clarissa, you don't need to know how the whole thing will work. What about all that taking my future stuff? Do you want to switch places or something? Or something. Riley, listen to me. You have been the arrow in my side for a while. Whenever we try to get out, whenever we get close, it's never quite worked. Never stuck. But this time it will. And do you know why? I've never tried it with Olivia. And she has a fire in her that will burn away every obstacle. You aren't the hero of this story, Riley. Remember that. And 
and whether Olivia is not. not the hero here. She she's a kid. As was I. Your plan with the transmitters? It's a good one. It is. It just might stop us. If that's what you want. Do you know what you want, Riley? Do you? Because I've traveled a million miles and a million more years just to watch you eat breakfast. Uh, 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 all right, uh, the, that, that was real, right? I was just... Are you okay? All this time, I thought it was the submarine. I thought, I thought that everything was just them. That they were the beings Olivia was talking to. But it's kids. It's just kids. It, it's, it's kids that go to Kimina High. That probably did lawn work for their parents. I, I don't know. It just changes things. Like they're really stuck. And we're fighting them off? It's just... It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe any of this is really happening. Just put it out of your mind. We're squashing interdimensional beings, Jacob, who want to trade souls with some kids who are alive. Don't make an already unbelievably complicated situation worse in your head. Yeah. Y yeah, I know. It's, it's just... a lot. Okay. Never mind. Garland, right? That's the last location? We should head out. Uh, c could we... Sorry, but, but could, could we just take a breather for a second here? Uh, sure. I mean, yeah, we earned it, I guess. Two minutes. So, parentage is just moon gazing and yoga mats. That's good to know, I guess. They actually remind me of another group like that. The Migration? I remember when they were pitching tents in the 90s. But the actual act, the natural act? Migration. Pretty interesting. How baby birds do it instinctively. So sometimes programming, like bird programming, has a glitch. And birds will actually fly north, you know, instead of south. And the ones that do, they, you know, they hook up. And suddenly, we have a whole new generation of birds going the wrong way. You know, I wonder about the other birds, the ones flying the natural way, when they see birds going in the opposite direction. And I just wonder how many of them change their mind, turn around. I wonder how many of them find a different way. <sighs> you know, this reminds me of that story I I'm told I'm pregnant. You. Uh, beg pardon? I found out before I took the job. I'm two months. Ah, then I do have that 2020 hearing, or, er, yeah. Uh, congratulations? I'm sorry, is this a balloons and yay type of thing, or a... Uh, let me, uh, yeah, let me know there. No balloons. Copy that. Uh, okay. I am understanding more why you'd want to take this job. Security, you know? I, I had sense of security. Maybe you're planning to move back. I don't know. Actually, actually, I'm gonna... I don't know why I'm talking so much. So, I'm just gonna take one colossal, uh, metaphorical step back and let you drive our, uh, little chat here. Starting now. Step taken. You can look to ask whatever you want. It's fine. Uh, if you don't already know, which one would you prefer, a boy or a girl? I, I have no idea when you can, you know, uh, identify. I know it's a boy. And, uh, any names? And if I'm prying, please say so. I'll just immediately stop talking. I was thinking, maybe Jacob. Just make sure you spell it with a C. Those Jacobs with the K's out there just think they're so much better. They're the worst. Sure, you got it. So, uh, bird's eye? 
how do you, you know, feel overall about it? I feel like I'll be apologizing to this kid my entire life. I know what they're inheriting. Being mine, they're gonna have an uphill climb. Don't we all? Uh, uh, maybe this is weird, but um, thanks for telling me. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Not many now. Lucky me. Boy, night of surprises. But it's uh, it's nice to have one that's different in the good way. Come on, one last transmitter. I think I know a good spot. Olivia will never forgive us, you know. How's that sit with you? Like, she'll never, ever. Ah, oh, it's eternal anger, this one. Comfortably. Yeah, I'd love to join you at the booth, but, uh... For the rest of her life, when Olivia thinks of me, it'll ruin her day. I hate that. But, hey... She wanted the radio so badly, I should have welded it to her hand. So, let's take care of this last transmitter and never be forgiven. Comfortably, I should learn from you. How did my night go from wondering just how many different lights can pop up on my dash to being scared of the power of a radio? That's, like, not a thing to be scared of. I, murders! Bad test results. Those count. We're gonna stop Olivia, okay? We have to stop her, so we're doing that. No, I, I know, it's, it's just the concept, you know? I'm scared of a radio. This is where my life is led. Add that to the list of things I'll never look at the same. And I don't mean radios. I mean, well, beer? Yeah, I think it'll feel a little different after tonight, if that makes sense. Let's just, let's get the transmitter placed. I can only eat so much panic. You know, it always blows my mind that someone had to uh, invent the bridge. Like, I know they happen naturally, lightning hits a tree and it falls down and all that. But at least once, at one point, there was some guy looking at a river going, Hey, wait a second. We can just go over it. They, uh, they put this one up in the late 1800s. I guess that's why I'm thinking about it. How people must have looked at it, the bridge. And for some people, it was their only way to work. Maybe it was where they had their first kiss, right? A first fist fight, where they proposed. But now, that bridge doesn't mean anything. It's just, uh, you know, I, I don't know. It just makes you think, I don't want to live forever. But I don't want to die forever either. You know what I mean? I don't want to be actual nothing, you know? Living forever is definitely scarier. Just persisting on and on without end? Uh, no thanks. It's a, uh, it's a conundrum. Oh, hey, see that? 
Not the church, but the behind the church. It's part of the old mine system. We could probably get up there if we find the other end of the tunnel. Which, you know, big if. Yep, I'm on board. Let's find the other end. Hey, you're the one with the transmitters. Locked. Story of my life. Huh, okay. Well, less than ideal. Come on, there's a way. There has to be. Or uh, we'll just keep saying that till we figure out there isn't. Sure. What is this? Uh, broken? I'm not 100% sure what it used to be, but that doesn't look functional. Huh. I think I've seen one of these before. Uh, it's a weird-looking weird thing. Hmm. Parentage was trying to recruit Maggie Adler or something? Jacob, please don't touch it. Oh, I'm, I'm not. Broken or not, who knows if it's grounded. I'm just curious. I wonder what that cable is connected to, and what it's for. Riley? Are you there? What do you want, Olivia? Over. I saw you losers walking in. But you totally didn't notice me. Oblivious. Caught up in your own crap. No one and nothing else could possibly exist. Are you watching us right now? No. Yes. Maybe. A. You won't believe me no matter what I say. B. You couldn't find me even if I was. So, C. Dumb question. I tried to get some replacement tech off those, uh, whatever the hell they are. It's all bolted together, so I broke it instead. But look, you have no idea what you're trying to, like, prevent. You can't stop the weather, it's the equinox. You know what that means? You know that thing you saw in the sky? To you, it's the ocean. And you're trying to build a dam with twigs. It's a waste of time. And it won't work. Okay? What are you even trying to do? I'm a little confused because all I saw are some kids running around in masks. Even if I wrote you a book, you wouldn't comprehend it. Listen, I'm gonna save you some trouble because I know you're just dying to say... You think you know everything, but you're young and blah, 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 vomit, choke, die. But here's my secret. I know that I don't know everything. I don't know how ketchup works, so save it. Come on, enough. Let's talk like, you know, people. We are talking like people. Most people talk with voices and ears. We're using both. My point is, I know one thing, one thing for sure. I know what I want. I know it, and I know I can get it. And I think that's a lot more than most people. Do you know what you want, Riley? Think about that. God, what an annoying person. I almost said the B word. Sorry. Right? Let's hurry it up. 1848 to 1892. 1870 to 1892. 1861 to 1892. Almost all of these over here died in 1892. Yeah, similar story over here. Something bad, I guess? Gold Rush era town. I wonder what happened. Okay, this is how my mind works. I just remembered something. Knock, knock. Who's there? Howie. Howie who? How are we gonna hide this dead body? Get it? That was awful. I thought it slightly relevant, maybe not. Just trying to lighten the, never mind. <laughs> This is some kind of equipment. Uh, I can't tell what it's monitoring. Huh. I think I've seen one of these before. Is it uh, on or working? Whatever it is? I don't think so. Nothing's, you know, lit or whirring inside. I wonder what that cable is connected to and what it's for. Check 
it out. Another one. The last one was helpful. Maybe whatever's inside this one will be too. Or uh, whenever's inside. Oh my god. Amazing. Riley, this is amazing. Look. Like, Mother Earth, man, she is no slouch. Yeah, I should have just left it alone. Oh, this is much better looking than any hardware store. Most hardware store, sure, but I've seen some lookers. You'd be surprised. Another one of these things. Oh, this one's not on either. Who could have left these here? Why are there so many uh, wires, cords, cables, whatever, leading into that building? This isn't open still, right? No, no way. And they look uh, fresh? Sure, we'll, we'll call them fresh. Either someone was here recently, or someone. Jesus! Post office, and you're a human being. Uh, answer this, huh? please. Who's that? Uh, uh hi. Y yes, I'm. I'm a human. Yeah, of course you are. At least tell me you didn't break my equipment. Over. Just wait. Slow down. First, who is this? Over. Name's Hank Chapman, and I just took your picture. Assuming you were facing the camera. Otherwise, it'll be the wall. Uh, kind of rude, right? Most folks prefer some degree of permission. Over. Well, I'm not looking to get pictures of most folks. Listen, I'm an amateur hobbyist investigator of the inexplicable. And I don't know if you've noticed, but tonight has been... The professionals would likely call it unusual. Around town, I've set up a series of EMF boosters. Equipment I use to capture, well, let's call it evidence of the unusual. Something's been screwing with them, so I need them checked. One of them is outright not responding. I'm assuming the worst. Can you help me out? Sure, you got it. It's a good deed for messing up the picture. Think of it as karma. Now, there's a generator in the post office with you that powers the boosters. Think of the EMF boosters like a safe. You put in the right code, you get to see what's inside. If you spot anything, maybe snap a picture. If you can, I'll make it worth your while. Call if you have any trouble. See you in the obit. Over and out. I think he's talking about this thing? Right? It says EMF on the side here. You think this could help us? Eh, you know, Hank seems like a, I want to say a nice guy, but these EMF booster things, it's a fun pet project for him, but unless they're going to help us plant this transmitter, I say let's ignore it and try the mines. You know? Well, I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to dismiss anything that might be of use. No, 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 I, I, I get that. I, I just don't see how this will be of use yet. I uh, think that came from outside. Andrew Rhines, Postmaster, 1878 to 1903. Must have been the first. Huh? Oh, right. First Postmaster for the town. Yeah, that makes sense. Why they'd hang a picture. 1878. Wow. Kind of got some Teddy Roosevelt vibes. He looks more easygoing, though. Tragedy. Twelve lives claimed in deadly mine shaft collapse. Latimer Mines no longer in operation. Garland mourns its greatest enterprise alongside twelve cherished sons. Ugh. From 1892. I guess that's when things started to go downhill. Yep. Hank mentioned grabbing a picture. I've got my camera with me. Let's see if we find anything flashworthy. So we got uh, some numbers here, or digits, I guess, on the dial. Just, yeah, careful, etc.
things are uh, different. Wow. Okay. Th th that that must be what the boosters do. Oh man, Riley, check it out. I guess it used to be sort of a campsite before it was a town. We know they're affecting the time zone, right? So, I think it's just a matter of getting the right time that the, uh, the cave's open. The mine, I mean. Yeah, well, trying to pin down the right time period with a taped-together toaster is harder than it would appear. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. Almost all of these over here died in Long look. I know we got a job to do, but like, this is unbelievable. Wow, like a postcard. Garland in its prime. Wasn't too shabby when she had uh, townsfolk, huh? Ugh, makes the abandonment all the more tragic. Yeah, it feels strange to see it up and running. Or running, in quotes. Let's look around. This is a random question, but what made you move away? From a Camina, I mean. Um, my dad. Our relationship seemed beyond repair, and so I wanted to make a clean break of it. Yeah. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. I don't know why I keep thinking about that. Maybe because, as a kid, I wanted to be treated like an adult, but without growing up. I'm sure most kids feel like that. I want to stay up all night and do whatever I want. Uh, I always felt older. So when I hit my 30s, I felt like that existential exhaustion finally caught up with my body. There's just something about Garland. How the town just couldn't keep up with history. 
It must make me babble about all this stuff because I never left Kamina. And sometimes I wonder if I should have. My life would be really different. I wouldn't be here, for one thing. Moving away doesn't make anything easier, let me tell you from experience. Well, yeah, but it makes things different, which is something. Just, I want to say thanks. Thanks for letting me help tonight. This feels- Oh, hey, I think- I think this is it. Great view, right? Sad city. Great view. Just watch where you're stepping, okay? I don't think this complies with OSHA guidelines. I don't think this thing has railings, so... You know what? The top of the chapel is the better bet. Higher, less obstructed. Let's do it. Come on. Climb time. Whoa! Cool maneuver. If I tried that, my spine would fall out of my body. Oh, uh, sorry. Do, do you smell that? Uh... Hey, I didn't do it. No, not... I didn't smell it before, but... That's rot. That's... Whew. Oh, that's bad wood rot. Yeah, hurry up and stick the transmitter, uh, so we... Ah! <gasps> Jacob! I, I'd say nothing. I'm not a man. I'm a dead man. A dead man at the bottom of a hill. Green drops falling on open eyes. Hear it? Drop. Bottom of the twelfth. One one. If I was a betting man... Jacob? Jacob? Please, say something. Make a noise. I'm almost there, Jacob. Just, just hold on. Oh my god. Jacob? Where are you? <sighs> Wonderful. This is just full of wonder. Am I doing something wrong? This is an official declaration. I hate this. Get a notary, knight it, whatever. This is hated. Perfect. Ah! Green girl. Green girl. No, don't, 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 don't hurt us. No. no. Out, out, out. Door. Impossible. So, so, time. Alex, stay away from him. It was an accident. What are you doing? Alex. Alex. Girl. Lost beach. Scare, dead. Boys. And... Green girl. Take home. 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 Bones. Oh, no. oh, man. Bones.
It's over, Alex. You guys lost. Just leave us alone. This isn't gonna work. Door open. Door. Black. Black. Time. Time. Yeah. End. Jacob, are you okay? Is anything broken? Oh, God, just let me be able to fix this. Just, 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 wait. Oh, the board gave way, didn't it? Oh. Eesh. Are you, uh, okay? Yeah, I'm, mm, fine. It didn't feel like that far of a fall. It's like I just taken a patter off a chair or something. Are you okay? I mean, like, you look okay, but still checking. I'm not the one who just fell through the roof. Yeah, but, you know, manners. God, Miss Adler would be pretty pissed at me if she knew I'd broken into this church. She, uh, always said not to wander around Garland and get a disease. Sorry. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Can we just do that, please? <sighs> yeah, let's get back up and get that transmitter going. Okay. Okay, okay. We're back. Let's plant this thing before anything else, before a horde of gremlins drag us off into the night. Yep. Let's do it. And after the transmitter's planted, that should be it, right? The portal should close. With any luck, at least. Yeah, here's hoping. I think after tonight, I'm going to officially not rely on hope anymore. Did we do it? It seems better, right? I think so. I think we did it. I think... I think we really did it. Finally. Man, Riley. We are just extraordinarily lucky this worked. If you hadn't been here at the exact right time, at this exact right spot, with these exact right transmitters, I don't know what would have happened. God, probably like four in the morning. There's a lot of stuff to sort through, like what to do about anything that's happened. But I don't know about you, I think we earned the rest of the night off. I mean, the storm lifted, right? We should go to the docks, see about getting you a hotel. I'd offer my own place, but I don't know. You saw it. Yeah, I already got a hotel through the school. Or, uh, my employer. If the walkie works, a phone might, I can call a ride. Sounds good. Sounds back this way. Let's get rambling.
You've been pretty quiet. Think about anything in particular? Uh, I'm just picturing Rex. That's, sorry, I, I kept having flashes, future memories of me and my son. I never told you about it. It didn't seem important to what was going on. Oh, man. I'm wondering when the next time will be when I see him, what that'll be like. It's gonna take years, and that it feels so strange, like a loss or something. <laughs> I probably sound... You sound exactly how you should sound. You sound like someone tired. Look, tonight was something else. You should be proud how you handled it. I'm proud of how you handled it. I don't know what I would have done without you here. I don't know what would have happened. Hey, it was you too, Jacob. You're a part of this too. Oh, go on. <laughs> I'm actually... I'm worried about Athena. We just never found her, you know? I don't know. I just keep picturing her waiting for me, wagging her tail on the porch. I really hope she's there. Hey, let's make a deal. You walk me to the docks. I'll come out tomorrow morning, first thing, and help you look. Okay, deal. Let's uh, head back to the docks. Time to close out, you know? Sweet something. There's a phone in the general store. Maybe one more break in for old time's sake, just to call you a ride. I'd give you a lift, but it's a five minute walk and my truck is still dead. So if I don't see you, uh, wait. Mm. Uh, Jacob, where are you going? Jacob? Jacob, hey, what are you doing, man? Did you get a little, uh, deja vu? Uh, wait, was there a... Oranges and lemons, say the bells of St. Clements. Here comes a candle to light you to bed, and here comes a chopper. Wait, Alex, what are you doing? Oh, uh, that late, I... <laughs> Jacob! Are you... is he okay? He's fine. He can even hear us, but he can't really respond right now. But look, this isn't what I'm here for. Back in Garland, when Jacob was affected in the time loop, that wasn't me. It was them. The Sunken. The crew of the USS Kanaloa. They've been using the half-open gate to pierce through timelines and talk to Olivia when I wasn't. Told her we were done, that this wouldn't work, that it shouldn't work, but she has a determination in her that the sunken are taking advantage of. The sunken? Those people that first got trapped between time? How are they back? What do they want? What anyone wants, what anything wants, what I wanted. To live, Riley. To come back to our timeline no matter what it breaks, and no matter who they have to take over to make it happen. They've convinced Olivia to go to Edwards Island and use the comm tower to open another portal. They're gonna consume everything and everyone they can to reconstitute themselves. The way I wanted to do it was a clean swap. This will be more like a hostile takeover. Everyone in Kamina is in danger, and you're the only one that can stop it from happening. Okay, uh, ma'am. Uh, so, wait, how do we stop them? By stopping Olivia. Okay, we're out of time here. Now, get a boat. I'll see you over there. I guess it 
was just... Wait. What happened? Was Alex here? She, she, she was she was here, and then she said the, the sunken are coming back? Is that... Yeah. And apparently we're all in really deep trouble if we don't prevent them from popping out of a new portal Olivia's trying to open. We need to find a boat and get to Edwards Island. We were so very close to being in our own respective beds. So close! Oh, soon. Very, very soon. Something tells me we need a boat? Is that right? It's... I'm still a little foggy. So... Uh... That doesn't leave a lot of options. Hey, you wouldn't be against us just a borrowing one from the docks for a few hours, right? I feel like this is worth the less than completely ethical way we're gonna go about it. Uh, that means we're stealing one, right? Yeah, but if we just don't put it like that, then it's not illegal. There's always a few boats tied to the pier down here. And, you know, since we're going to Edwards Island, this is kind of it. Any loose threads? No, it's kind of the time. Loose threads? Is there a loose thread I'm missing, Jacob? Hey, a lot of weird stuff happened tonight. And I'm just saying, if all goes well, this whole harrowing experience is done after we get on that boat. So anything you want to do before it's done, better do it now. Okay, so here's not exactly chock a block, but one of these should do. This looks fine. Yeah, here to there is all we need. It's Ava's. She runs a bait shop. She always tries to get me to go with her to field test new products. I guess so she could this feel looks... less guilty about fishing on the clock. Know. It would get us there fast. I mean, clearly she had T ball level game, but uh, still, that's nope. a proper I'd be flirt. Hey, Jake, let's go skewer some more. Ava's boat. That's when I knew we were meant to be. It's padlocked to the dock, and we need the key to start the thing. But I bet all the coins in my pocket that the key's in the shop. And knowing Ava, the door's probably unlocked. No one's exactly itching to steal leeches and mealworms, so. Okay, so we need a code for the lock and a key for the boat. And hopefully some calm water after that. Come on. in this town. Tomorrow I'm convincing Ava to buy a pack. Uh, sail on night crawlers. I'll stay out here and keep May without my checkbook. 315 is pretty uh, good, right? Or something. I have no idea what I'm saying. Okay, seriously, woman, are you trying to get your boat stolen? Eh, whatever. Gift horse, mouth, etc. I think all that leaves is the code for the lock so I can untie the boat. Ah, happy birthday, Marco. <laughs> that is a lot of chocolate cake. 7-Eleven is highlighted. Huh, okay. M-B? Wait, M-B. Marco's birthday? Did you hear that? Athena? Athena! Oh, Athena! Did you freaking knucklehead! Oh! I'm gonna kill you. Oh my god, I was so worried! Oh, oh my god. Oh. oh, thank god. I kept thinking... Well, I don't want to say what I was thinking. She seems all right. Is it okay if I pet her? Oh, let's find out. Athena, can Riley pet you? Athena, speak. <laughs> that means yes. You know how many TV remotes this mud has obliterated? Oh, Athena, I swear to Vishnu, I'm getting you a bell, a very large bell that you can hear from Wisconsin. No more running off. Okay, seriously, this, this is sweet. Maybe too sweet. Oh, for sure, but like, I needed this real bad. 
Oh, man, this is... <laughs> Sorry. I'm uh, not usually like this, you know, but... Uh, it's been a long night. She's my home, you know? She's my home. It's just... It's nice to feel relieved. For once. Okay. All right. Settle down, man. She's back. She's safe. You're all right. All right. Come on, girl. I'll be right back. Like, right the hell back. So don't you wiggle away. You hear me? Be my good girl. Stay here. Sound good? Speak. <coughs> Sounds good. I have to do this thing. It's an opportunity to do something important. And, uh... If I don't make it back, it's not because I didn't try. The one in town will take you in. They all know you. You'll, uh, you'll be okay. Okay? Okay. I'm ready. You think you know the code? Seven... One, one, ta-da. Hey, nice work. Okie doke, after you. Ladies first, age before, ooh, um, mm. yeah, after you. Uh, hey, come on, get on. Oh, no, 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 after you. Ooh la la, breaking societal protocol, I dig it. I used to uh, pride myself on owning the very first issue of TV Guide. It has a the I Love Lucy baby on the cover. For months, it was my only goal to get it. I'm mentioning this because this is probably like the greatest thing I'm gonna do in my life. Helping you fix all this. There's no topping that. Like, what would? Come on, you don't know that for sure. You might invent a new kind of, I don't know, chair? No, I don't know. But gun to my head, I'd bet it all on red, so to speak. It gets old being a fix-it man. Your job is to look at something broken. Just a lifetime of staring at failure. And hopefully, fixing it. There's honor in fixing things for people. You could say that's a noble profession. I'm not saying it's not. I'm saying it's complicated. It's just, this is gonna be it. This is the apex of my accomplishment. Another fix-it job. Bigger job, more important job, sure, but a fix-it job still. I don't know. It just would've been nice if the number one spot was taken by something I created. Maybe that's selfish? No, that's not selfish. That makes sense. I think we'd all like to be remembered for something more than she loved to laugh or some crap like that. If we remembered at all. Maybe this is the night it all turns around. As he sailed away from the silent city, socks still uncomfortably damp, Jacob Summers decided he'd fixed enough. After tonight, the only thing he would try to fix is himself. <laughs> How stupid does that sound, right? <laughs> yeah, it's stupid. In an authentic and genuinely not sarcastic or smoke-blowing way, the beautiful, mysterious, well-dressed, and modest Riley Poverly told him, I believe in you, Jacob Summers. Thanks. I'm sure you have other things on your mind besides all this. Anyways. Oh, almost there. But first... For luck.
for luck. I'll see Olivia's boat. Actually, yeah, why am I surprised by that? You probably just ran the thing aground somewhere and hobbled out. Maybe we'll have some time to catch up to her. Come on. Edwards Island. It's been a while. Yep, it's, um, it's nice to see it. Still standing. I think I remember how to get to the old communications tower. Richard Harden Tower? Dick Harden? <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll see. Just head for the stairs. God, all this kitschy bullcrap. I hated it as a kid when I was here. It still raises the hair on the back of my neck. Oh, I loved how cheesy everything was here as a kid. It's still, you know, it's a, a little bit warming to, to see it. I, I don't know. God, this place. Hey, you think Olivia could have gone down this road? Under the tunnel? No, that only goes to more woods. And I think she's headed for the tower. But anyways, I was just saying this place was a the party spot when I was in school. This is... what's the significance of this again? It's the propeller from the USS Kanaloa. The only part of it recovered. Now, I just can't believe that those people, the, the, the Kanaloa's crew, are the ones now trying to come back through Olivia. Becky already hated that they put this up. Hey, I don't blame them. If I got friendly fired into Oblivion, I'd be pretty pissed about it too. No, I know. It's just... man. A lot of those people have grandchildren still in town. It's just, this is just crazy. I think I knew someone's older brother who used to work here years ago, you know, back in high school. Yeah, it was like a rite of passage. I think somebody told me once. Everyone has to work at Edwards Island when they're 15 or else your childhood doesn't count. Some of the islands seem a little different since I last came for brunch. It's, yeah, everything's unstable. I, I didn't expect everything to be this bad. I don't know why I have the nerve to expect anything anymore. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Um, hello? Wait, who, wait, which ones are you? Fire! Man's great equalizer. Hey, wait, Alex! We're, we're still just like getting our feet wet, so what's the, uh, what's the, like... Don't worry. I don't know you're here. Yeah. There's echoes stuck between time. My friends and me. Olivia's opening the portal already, or will or has, the, the timelines are converging. Trying to get us there, but the jumps are erratic. We'll glitch again soon. Just wait a second. These are your friends. Kind of, yes and no, they... Yes, it's hard to explain. They're shadows of themselves. But yes, Riley, these are my friends. Beyond all odds, these are my friends. So... The cave. What's your bets? On a scale of one to ten, how weird's it gonna be? Pretty goddamn weird, Jonas. You know, in the moments after you drop a glass bottle or lose your keys or trip, and you just keep replaying the minutes right before it happened over and over. Why didn't I just not do that? Why why didn't I just Why didn't I drown instead of my brother? Alex, stop it. You you can't just say things like that or think them, okay? That doesn't lead anywhere good. Nothing has led anywhere good for a while. But I, I've been thinking, in all the times I've tried this, and in all the times you've stopped me, 
You never came here. You never came to the island. And I don't know what that means. Oh, wait. I... We're going to see Olivia now. I know this looks bad. It looks bad because it is, but we still have time. Follow me up. I'm gonna try and convince Olivia before it's too late! Kids. Oh man, Christ, thank God I didn't bring this. If I fall to my death, please adopt her. Olivia's on the roof. Come on, we have to hurry. Oh my God. No, 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 it shouldn't be this. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Stay there, don't come near me. It's already done. You're Olivia, too late. come on, honey, just just back away. Olivia! I, I know what you think is going to happen, but it won't. Not like this. You quit! You said... You said you could... Oh, God, are we too late? Alex, you're still here. Wait! Please! You don't have to do it this way! How is this anything different than what you, in all of your infantile yearning, tried? I know! I, I want it! I still do! Don't do this! We, we we can help you! Maybe we can... Maybe you can what? Stall until we forget? Until our minds have totally succumbed to the fall? Stop! You... you aren't this! Henry Griffin! Kelvin Gilbert! Men! Women of the Canaloa! I know you're... You have children of your... You're not our old salt! And never will be again! Now we are Olivia. Now we are... Riley. Out of here. I don't even know if this is a, a place or <sighs> forest is the town of the trees. Come on, it's not over yet. trying to get back to? What is there to escape to? Alex! Alex, are you... Are you here? Oh, crap. This light is a little... Is there like a like a hum to it? The radio's buzzing a bit.
Yes. The array? I'm on my lunch break, okay? Talk to Colonel Shear if this is important. I'm... I'm sorry, but are you Maggie Adler? This is... Am I in Fort Milner? Fort Milner? No. I don't believe you are. I don't believe I'm the Maggie Adler my mother once knew. But don't worry. You'll be gone soon anyway. Just like me. Like we all are. If you're not Maggie, who are you then? A figment. A comic strip thought balloon. A particle of someone you think you know. The dead don't change. They can't. Just like you and me. I'll always be here. And you'll always be in your little apartment, wishing things were different. If a caterpillar is a butterfly unblossomed... Can't you help me? Maggie, come on! Together we can fight them off! I know they're still- Like how I fought? Against the eclipse? Against death? Nothing fights like time, child. And the sunkener is time itself. Stop fighting. Your grace. For souls who use your sun works here with me. It's okay. I'm not gone yet. Not completely. Just oh, keep moving. Just because I... Yeah, I know I was late a few times. It wasn't every other day this month. Robbie, come on. That's... You know that's not what's happening here. Give me a break. I, my car broke down for a week. Keep going, keep moving. It was just to avoid college for a while. And I don't even know if I want to do that. Yeah, Dad, I know you. It's not your great, really. I'm just, I need space and time to just figure things out. I'm sorry, I didn't understand. I'm not breaking up with you because. Stop messing with my mind, damn it! Where the hell am I this time? You know it. You show up, fish clear out. Not like you should expect this to go any better, I guess. Or maybe I'm just bad luck. What's... what is this? What's what? Which part? You recognize me, right? 
I know it's you, Rex. Yeah, I know. You're a long way from home, Riley. You've been a long way from home for a while now, to tell you the truth. And I know you wanted to change some things when you heard I was coming. Get your life in order, you know, exercise five days a week, stuff like that. How's it going so far? Making your bed every day? Cooking your own dinners? Uh, I think you can tell how it's going, Rex. I'm getting taken over by vengeful spirits just because I answered an ad for a job. It's going to complete crap, like most things I try to do. Like most things you try to do. Yeah, here's the thing about that. I'm one of those things. And I think I turned out pretty okay. <sighs> sorry. I... I'm sorry. Riley, I know you think you effed up here, and that you failed, and that the whole town is going to get eaten by ghosts, but you haven't yet. They haven't yet. But they will unless you snap the hell out of it right now. For my sake. For your sake. For Jake's, How? for Lynn. You don't think I'm trying? I'm stuck here. You've been stuck before. You've been stuck for years. Mom, I think you've let a lot of anger keep you stable to the carpet. You used to say you can't punch every problem. But hey, at least punching is trying something. Look, the Sunken and Alex and all of her friends have been in a void, just like you. Unlike you, though, they want to get out of it. How many years did you drain away on the couch, in bars, doing nothing, wanting nothing? Wanting to shrivel into dirt, crumble to dust, and go out like you came in? Quietly, without you a fuss. You have no idea how hard I've tried to change for you. The instant the little stick thing turned blue, the instant I knew you were on your way, the second I knew I had to live up to... To, to you? To be something for you? Yeah, Mom. You looked in the want ads and sublet your apartment. I know. You tell me often. And don't say... I know you like to be stoic. There isn't any more time to kill. You're not that young anymore, and today is today. It ain't tomorrow. So this is the opposite of what you're going to try and teach me, by the way. Okay, now, I, I tried to be a good mom in those, those moments with you. I, I tried, but I was pretty much thrown into it. Everyone's pretty much thrown into it, but you're missing the point. <sighs> I'm fishing, see? Fishing, that's because of you. I cook my eggs how I do because you cook your eggs that way. I wear jackets all the time, even when I'm dying of heat. I don't floss. I buy too many socks. All the utterly horrible guidance made me who I am today, and I like who I am. But you just don't take your own damn advice, Mom. You never knew. You never did. So, I'm here now to make you take your own advice. Do something. Be something. Just make a choice and stick with it. Even if that choice doesn't take you exactly where you expected it to. It's... Too hard, Rex. I can't see a way out. It's easy. Well, it's not easy, but it's easy to start. Admit to yourself, to me, to the void, that eternity doing nothing isn't for you. Wait, stop. How is this gonna really- No, Riley. You have to say it. And mean it. Come on. Rex, seriously, I can do this, okay? I just... I don't need don't to... be overconfident. I'll never leave unless you break out of this. Now say it. For yourself. It's... not what I want. It's not enough. And what do you really want? I want... I, I want to just... to see you. In real life. Even if it's not gonna be what I hope it can be. Uh, yes. Yes, you do. But I think this is my stop. I never did get used to goodbyes. This isn't one. Not really. Oh, and I'll see you at Christmas. Wait!
are you, uh, are, are you, you again? Jacob, I, I, I'm back. I, I can't believe it. It worked. Oh, God. This, I, I don't know, Riley. This doesn't... Tune into the portal, Riley. Girl, we give us. Oh, it, yeah, on it. to being done, to being saved, and you had to make everything worse. Sorry to disappoint you. Olivia, Sunken can't help you. You couldn't help me. You quit. We could have had everything we wanted if you just kept to the plan. The Canaloa crewmen would have... I know. I know. I thought they would help me. 
But in the end... Olivia, stop. Come on. This is over. Is it? Where the hell are we? We're still between things. We've pushed back the sunken and systemized the portal. And that's good. That's what we want, but someone still has to lock it from the other side. I did it. Myself? Okay, let's close it. That's why we're here, right? Not so fast. Someone has to tune the portal from within the time stream. Or it will never close. And consume us all. What are you talking about? Whoever closes this portal. So, were you lying? You said Olivia could see her parents again. I wasn't lying. On the other side of this portal, you'll be between spaces. Because of how the Sunken and me and my friends entered, we didn't have the choice. We became stuck in the moment of our accident. But it can be a gift. Olivia, you can be with your parents again. Forever. But it's not real. It was real. And that could be enough. Okay, if this is such a great gift, then why don't you and your friends want to stay? We didn't choose our moment of forever. But even if we could, we chose life over a memory of it. Not everyone would make the same decision. And Riley, you should know because it matters for this. Rex and you, it doesn't end well. I've seen a lot of versions of you while well, waiting and looking, and you guys are gonna have a lot of good days. I mean, years of them. Just someday, the two of you will hit a wall too tall to climb and too long to walk around. And I know you know exactly the kind of situation I'm talking about, don't you? What situation? What are you even talking about? I... I don't know why you're choosing now to tell me this. Because if you choose to stay in the portal, you can be with Rex when you two are alright. And you never have to see yourself the way I've seen you. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but I'm the only one that can. I built that antenna. I built that antenna. I studied the websites. I called the experts. I... I stole countless books from the library. I... I communed with you when no one else could. I am the goddamn hero of this goddamn story, and I am going into that portal. And I don't care if you don't understand. You're 16, Olivia. You can't even sign a contract to work at the donut shop without your guardian's permission. You really think I'm gonna let you throw your life away? You know what I think? I think you want to care about me, but don't. My parents. You have no idea what they meant to me. And I am not giving up the chance to be with them again. You chose me for a reason. I did. Your future is cloudy and uncertain, and you wanted this so badly. I thought I could live with myself if we switched. But maybe that was just mania acting for me. She's not going, Alex. If that's how you feel? Well, it's Riley's decision who goes in. Why? She has the radio, and it was always going to be like this. Always. Riley, you have a kid on the way. Do you want to be stuck in a past moment forever? I want this! Quiet. Let her think. Oh, Riley, I'm sorry, but before tonight, I think I would have been the first one to volunteer, honestly. But I'm sorry, Riley. Our friendship and what we did tonight, I can't just live in memories anymore. I'm just not in the same place I was. I want to make some changes in my life. I understand, Jacob. You have a life to live. You should see that through. I feel terrible even saying it, Riley. I do. I'm sorry I can't do this for you, but I just can't. It's fine. He doesn't want it. I need this.
It should be me. No, Riley. Are you crazy? Why on earth should it be you? Yeah! Why should... Why do you get to decide? This wasn't your night. It was mine. And you robbed me of it. I don't have a future. I barely have a past. And this might be a way to do some good while I still have time to do it. I just... After everything, after tonight, you get the glory of remembrance? I can't believe it. And you're letting it happen. It's not up to me. Riley, I knew this was a possibility. A mathematical prospect, no matter how unlikely. That you would be the one to free us. To end it. There aren't enough ways to say thank you. But it'll have to do. So, thank you. Hey, no sweat, Alex. Glad I was around to help. Well, it's been nice meeting you. <laughs> again and again. Remember, tune into the portal when you're on the up. Hmm. Mom? Okay, so the guy at the general store let me go this time, but next time he said I'd have to buy something if I want to use the bathroom. He seemed kind of annoyed, but it's fine. Yeah, he, uh, he always says that, but it's all right. Oh, <laughs> okay. <sighs> Hike time? Mm, yep, lead the way. Let's go to the summit first. Find some weird looking squirrels. This is that place you told me about, right? Was that guy trying to fix his car around here? With the dog? Jake? Oh, yeah, that was eons ago. Several lifetimes. I... I don't think he's around anymore. Oh, okay. Did you ever read this book called Black Beauty? We just got assigned it in English yesterday. Yeah, Black Beauty. That's that's a that's a good one. It's from the perspective of, of the, the horse. Yeah, I didn't know that, or I didn't know that before. Okay, yeah, I was just wondering. I'm really liking it so far. We, the class, voted for which book to read, <laughs> and like. Everyone groaned and complained when the horse book was announced. I 
really wanted, Johnny got his gun, but... But I think some parents said they didn't want a book about war. But, you know, whatever. And Rex, there's a, a log up ahead. Slow down when you take it, so when the boulder slides, you don't scrape your knee. <laughs> How do you know that's gonna happen? I just do. <laughs> Weirdo. This part's tricky. Remember, just take it slow. I know. Rex, I love you. Oh, I asked you about, about Black Beauty, because I, I actually just skipped to the end. I can't help myself. I always just want to know where things are going, you know? You read it, right? Maybe you remember? But it looked like the horse just ended up right back where she, uh, she started? Like, like the last line is practically, my troubles are all over and I am at home. I didn't know if I missed something. Well, the sentiment certainly sounds nice, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Oh, and, uh, Mom? I love you, too. <clears throat> Hi, sorry. Hi. If you're listening to this... My name is Alex, but that doesn't matter much. You don't know me. You've never heard of me. You never will. But I know Riley, and she's a unique person. I'm sure you know that, too. What you probably don't know is that she helped me out in a really big way recently. And the only thing I can think of to do to pay her back is to send you this package. It's, um... A, a collection of things that will hopefully give you a clearer picture of just who Riley is and the immense effect she's had on people's lives. <sighs> I don't know. When you get through everything, I left a note at the bottom. Okay. Oh, and, um, thank you.
I hate thinking about that night. I hate the nightmares I still have. I hate that you made Charlie like you, even though you're not worth liking. I hate that you moved away and I don't get to tell this to your ugly face. I hate you, and Charlie won't admit it, but you ruined his life too. Hope you have a terrible time and a worse life wherever you end up. You deserve it. really. The place I make my, uh, my art. But I, uh, decided to start opening it up to visitors a bit more. Or anyone who wants to see. I recently went through some stuff, and, uh, I've just decided it's time to start letting more people in. I'd lived my life a certain way up until this point. <laughs> Pretty closed off, anxious. And, I don't know, life's just too short, right? Like living here. What about it do you not like? What is there? It's a trash pile like anywhere else in the world. Because anywhere has people. It's all just the same damn people in different shapes and sizes. They talk different, but say the same thing. It's all just empty nothing. Well, that sounds reductive. It sounds reductive, but it isn't. It's the truth. Even my dead parents. Even me. Nothing matters except how you die and what eats you to survive. How much longer do I have to sit here? Mr. Poverly, your daughter is a complicated person. Like all of us, like everybody. I used to really not appreciate my stepfather. And there was a time that I hated even the concept of having a stepbrother. Relationships are hard. Even the ones that are supposed to be easy, supposed to be ingrained. I don't really know what I expected to do with all this. But just know that your daughter isn't just your daughter. She's not just the person who you raised, who left. Who maybe didn't end up being the person you wanted her to be. She's a person that had a life, and that life had a lot of branches to it. But you and her, those are her roots. And I think no matter where she is, she'll always remember that. All right, I think that's it. Oh, and the, stay off the radio.